or are you uh, qualified when you get in the water? No, nah, we'll go. We'll go over it. We'll go over it. <laughs> All right, streams up. Oh my God! So loud. Oh Jesus! They need a bot that like corrects volume. I know Fredboat used to do it, but Fredboat's also hot, hot garbage. So, ah, okay. Mm. Mythic Odyssey of the Dragon Lords. Hopefully, I can provide you uh, a more energy-filled, less um, addle brains, bullbug uh, centric um, session this week. I got uh, ten hours of sleep last night. Oh it's... my god! Yeah, like king yeah. over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and hop into this for a point of inspiration, which may be beneficial to you. Um, in in the events that are to come, does anybody want to sum up oh, yeah. what happened last week in character, succinctly but quickly? I got it. All right. I don't know about succinctly, but let's see. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> the Heroes of Prophecy split into two teams: the A team with Andronicus, Tycon, and Corinna, spiritually led by Maya, and the S team with Julian, Sibo, and Orin, spiritually led by Loria. The night before Vulcan's Anvil, the party learns oh, that their two teams will be fighting the Not Forgotten and the Song and Sting. In preparation, the party gears up, purchasing potions and readying their magic for the competition. The battle begins with Georgios charging through a portal towards the Song and Sting. He's quickly knocked down and subsequently killed by the Fire Wisps and the Song and Sting uh, centaurs. Sibo begins to fire at Svarnas as Volon charges through a portal to the Not Forgotten. He is dispatched very quickly by Fortuitous, who marks him for death. Uh, this is all accompanied by several meteors raining down from the edges of the stage. Uh, as the fight continues, several fire elementals appear, with the one near the S team being much larger for some reason. A fireball incinerates Sibo as Julian battles the elemental. I decide to try and improvise and I enter one of the portals, luckily ending up near the already injured Sparnus. Attacking her along with a lucky fireball from one of the elementals is able to, uh, able to bring her down. At the same time, Fortuitous makes it to the center of the ring, gaining fire, uh, fire resistance. Uh, the end of the competition draws near as several more massive meteors loom, uh, covering the entirety of the outer edge of the arena. Myra quickly conjures a wall of water, allowing the A-team to make it to the center. I charge past the last of the Song and Sting members. Uh, the fire elementals take down Costas. Maya drops the water wall right as the final Song and Sting member is torched, uh, dying and as a result of his curse, turns into a giant scorpion on the field. Uh, Andronicus throws a mighty javelin of lightning, which nearly kills a hellhound and shocks the scorpion fortuitous and myself as she marks me for death. Uh, and attempts to follow through as the A-team pushes closer to the center with Andronicus holding the line against two fire elementals, three hellhounds, and two fire wisps. Uh, Corinna and Tycon send attacks at Fortuitous uh, as Lorius takes possession of a Hellhound, also sending it after her. A fireball comes in, taking out Andronicus with Tycon and Corinna barely hanging on. Fortuitous is finally taken down by a combination of Corinna's chakrams and a well-placed produced flame by Maya. Uh, as I am overwhelmed uh, by fire elementals, but not before showing Tycon who's boss. Uh, Vulcan's Anvil ends with the A-Team taking first, the S-Team in second, and the Not Forgotten in third. Pythor's Tower is won by the Champions of Themis, and the Leaping Spires by a region. Alright, uh, yeah, take your point of D of Inspiration. Oof, yeah, definitely a fully accurate and non-biased recount there. <laughs> for sure, for sure. All right, then uh, an extra one from. Uh... Question: Is Julian not be able to make it today? Hmm. He's oh wait. Be late. Julian said he yeah he was gonna be late tonight. Okay. 
Are we supposed to be able to see right now? Or is he not making it at all? He no, he's going to be about. late. He's, he's okay. on a plane right now, but they should be down and back by the end, I guess. Something like that. Landing cool, safely. Cool. All right. Um, also, does anybody want to provide a faxpiration? This is a, a fact that none of us would know about your character that would result in um, basically getting a, a bardic inspiration die that lasts through the entire session. It is not required, uh, but you can certainly do it if you would like the uh, the assistance or you just said a fact you want to share about your character. Going once. Man, I have one right now. Going twice. All right, all right. We'll just get started. Okay, so um, back in the Coliseum. Let's hop into this. All right. So back in the Coliseum, um, you guys received your awards. You find out who uh, did what uh, in which events, and you are dismissed for the evening. But before you are, uh, they will announce who is going to be available to, or not available, but who is going to be participating in what uh, events tomorrow. Now, you guys had signed up to do the Maelstrom. So um, serendipitously, because um, we're not going to run it twice, uh, you guys uh, guys get paired up again. What? <laughs> um, here, all right, man. let's find out who else is going to be participating uh, in that. Let's see. We've got the 100 hand spectators. Let's go over to our tables. And we'll generate great games teams. All right. So roll it up. All right, you're up against the undead <laughs> again. All right, and then let's see. Oh, the no. Storm Lords. God Oof. damn. I called it. Oof. I That's fucking some tough competition it. there. That's some tough competition. Ah, oh, man. Okay. I was like, man, as long as we don't get these people or these people. <laughs> That's going to be a rough one. Oh, oh man. Well, okay. Oof. <laughs> All right, let us review <clears throat> the Maelstrom uh, rules. Uh, be the last boat left afloat. All right, flying is allowed to a height of 20 feet. Teleporting is allowed within the confines of the arena. Each boat has 10 javelins. These are the only weapons allowed in the event. Uh, no magic may ever be used on a boat or to affect a boat. Um, the boats themselves have an AC of 14, 150 hit points and no damage threshold. That means any thing that hits the boat will damage the boat. Um, boat speed is zero unless it is actively piloted. The boats are immune to poison and psychic damage and almost every status effect. All right, special actions. Um, you, as the competitors, your special actions are you can speed up the boat. This requires an action. Uh, you row the boat faster. Uh, you move the boat 30 feet. Uh, you make piloting check, which is water vehicles. Uh, the DC is 14. Proficiency in water vehicles is an auto success at this. Um, or you can perform a defensive maneuver. Um, these do not stack. Uh, it will increase the AC of your boat by whatever you got. Um, so it does say that it is an auto success if you have um, water vehicles. Auto success if you choose to take it just means that you get a 10. Um, if you want to get better than um, a 10, you do have to roll for it. Um, but a 10 gets you a plus 2 armor class, 15 gets you a plus 3 armor class, 20 will get you a plus 4, and a 25 or higher will get you a plus 5 to your AC. Uh, ramming speed, ready your action to ram another ship with your ship. If your ship moves into a space occupied by another ship, you can use this readied action to ram them dealing lots of damage, aka 25 damage. Um, you have to succeed at a piloting check. Uh, this is not an auto success one because it's a more difficult maneuver. Um, oh, it says it's an auto success. Oof, let me fix that real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, get rid of that proficiency on all vehicles. Good old copy paste, let me down. Um, and if you would not have uh, that, you do a strength or dex uh, check to try and just finagle the boat. Um, what else we got here? 
that is what the boat people can do in addition to their normal action economy. Mystical coach, you'll be flying around in your little Lakuta car. Um, you can okay, assist. Question. Yeah. Um, if I cast like tidal wave, mm -hmm. and and that and that affects a boat, you're disqualified. That, yeah. Okay. All right. What about a fireball? Cast any. So you can it, choose where tidal wave happens. What if he chooses mm -hmm. to have it happen above the area where the boats are? If they if feel that you have influenced the weather or the water in any way that would impact the boats in any way, you will f you forfeit. You, oh, okay. You've been disqualified. But when the Storm Lords inevitably yeah. cheat, is there a way yeah. to call them out? Then... Uh, just because they're called the Storm Lords, does that mean that they're busting out Storm Magic in this uh, in this arena fight? Oh, I just um, mean because they're, they're Sidon's people. There's no way. That... Wow. When you're as good as Sidon, you don't have to cheat. <laughs> Uh, if I if I yeah, but you do it anyway to guarantee that you. <laughs> so it's as long as as long as we're not affecting the boat itself, like in Correct. terms of testing, uh, so you... the boat have their own AC and stuff like that. So if I use magic, yeah, yeah, I, the boat, I, I, I like said that a... AC fourteen, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, but like, but the rules are no magic may ever be used on a boat or to affect a boat. Okay, so right, if gotcha. you create magic and the magic infects a boat, that will count uh, again. That will go against the rules. All right, clear okay. Game. So yeah. just another another little thing. So if I like sure. magic weaponed one of the javelins and then threw the javelin and the javelin hit the boat, does that count as magicking the boat? That would be magic that affected the boat. Yeah. Okay. What if you yep. throw it that's, and misses? That's part of why. That's part of why everybody everybody has to use. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's part of why everybody has to use javelins. They've had uh, because some of these people are bringing real big dick weapons to the field. And it, it would be very unfair for them to just, you know, swing these god level weapons and one shot your boats and stuff like that. Hmm. So, save, that save that for the hundred hands, you know. Also, some of these people could just summon like an actual storm and just sink all the boats. So that's part of why they, yeah, you know. <laughs> I wonder who could do that. Hmm? Yeah. Maya. Uh, all right. Now, if you are a spectator, it's the same thing as the previous one. Um, and then spectators every round will randomly, um, NBC spectators. We'll randomly throw out shit. So, all right. All right. Are you disqualified uh, if you get out of your boat? Oh no. Um. The okay. if you if you feel that abandoning your boat is the best way to win, then abandon your boat. Okay. Okay. Keep in mind, there's only three of you in this boat. So, and if the boat oh, is I'm left not, on, a... I'm not leaving the boat. I was I was debating whether making them leave their boat would make them lose. <laughs> oh no, that'd be super lame. That'd be super lame. Uh -huh, so, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So that's obviously not how it works. You don't understand. <clears throat> I've played this with Ana Laura slash <laughs> sets player. Well, that's fair. Yep. Okay. Already. Uh, like, uh, so like uh, almost uh, every cheese thing you could think of has already been run past me. But you are welcome to try to come up with more cheese things. But hopefully I, I've uh, avoided that by saying any and all magic. Uh, and, you, you know, you guys are allowed out of the boats. But we'll see what happens. All right, so for now, I will take you back to the city of Mitros, where you can, uh, I guess, make any preparations you want, any sort of celebrations you want, track down visiting NPCs, whatever it is you think you need to do. If you don't want to do any of that shit, I guess we just fast forward to the next day and get right into them boats. Uh, you know we need prep time. Okay. <laughs> All, right, All right, I so... got a couple questions. Though. Sure. All right, no weapons except for the ten javelins. What about shields? Um, armor and shields is allowed. What about? Yeah, you don't have to do. You don't a, have to do this naked. Upper limit to shields. How many shields upper do you like to bring? Limit? Can I like? He's gonna Viking his boat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. The the ship cannot benefit from your shields. That would be that would be modifying the ship. Could uh, I interception the, fighting style the boat? As long as it's not done with magic. It's you okay. could you could intercept. For for the ship, yes. Nice. You use your I don't know. Does it, say, does it say when a creature's hit? No, I think I'm pretty sure I've used it on a rope before. So don't 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 yeah. come uh, <laughs> lowering me down. <laughs> I think according to Five E, as of Ghost of Saltmarsh, a ship is considered a creature. It is nice. a vehicle creature. Checkmate. Yeah. Fish um, <laughs> cast, <laughs> Casting spells on on other people is fine. Yes. Well, and except for the example <clears throat> that was given about enchanting one of the javelins to be magical and using the javelin against the ship. So, like, if I were that, to make... that would be magic affecting the boat. 
What if I oh so if I <laughs> if I make uh one of their weapons magical and they attack Ooh. our boat with it, would it, it would oh, be right? Damn. You would be the one that cast the spell, so you yep. would be disqualified. You okay. cast yep. magic that <laughs> affects the yep. boat. All right, yeah, that makes sense. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, one last, one more question. Uh, okay. Did you spend all week looking for loopholes? No, is that, no. no. Oh, okay. This is just happening right now. Okay, great. Typing them up as we um, speak. Uh, uh, last question. Uh, uh -huh. What a, is it okay to for you know just summon like summon creatures? If I were like to summon mm. like the, the elephant, oh, that's true. If, and have if it just hang out summoned, on their boat. If you summon a creature and the creature affects the boats. Then it would count as you using magic. Well, to not not on the boat. boat. If you summon the creature and have the thing mess with the people on the boat. Yeah, as long as that summon creature doesn't affect the boats, you can't okay. affect the boats. Okay. You are at you're at the police shooting range. The boats are the innocent civilian targets. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If at any so point you, you touch, yeah. If at any point, even accidentally, you hit the boats, you have failed the firing range test. Okay. Uh, you cannot affect the boats with magic. But they they weren't able to just anti magic the boats, so you know you got to use precision here. Yeah, got to yeah. use precision. Okay. Hmm. I I believe Hypatia used like a fireball, but because she's a math wizard, she was able to exclude the boats whenever she did it. Oh damn. Yeah. So there's you know there's cool shit like that you could do if you you know. Yeah. But if yeah. if all the people on the boat get knocked out, but your boat is still okay at the end. <laughs> if your whole team is knocked out, but your boat is not, I guess as long as the boat's still afloat, they'll win. Yeah, because the real the real disqualifier is having your boat sunk. Yeah, wouldn't that be some shit? So, I guess really the only way to do damage <laughs> to the boat is to hit it with javelins and ram into it. Yeah, or yeah, or I mean, come up with something clever and non magical. But yeah. yeah. Mostly they all right. So they're here to see naval combat. They're not here to see you guys just you know do your, the normal shit that you normally do because like mm -hmm. that's what like a lot of the other events are for. This mm -hmm. is they want to watch boats fight each other. This Overnight, is I want Vulcan to make me a cannon. No. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a non-magical tiny cannon. Yes, this, Vulcan. This is, I need. I need, this... I need a cannon. Oh, he. He's excited about it. He's worthily working on cannon no cannons for for the ship, but he's not going to interfere with this event. This is dedicated to Thylea, so be very very blasphemous for anybody to to screw with it. But yeah, if you do want to check in, if you do want to check in with him, if you do want to check in with him, it's non magical. Yeah, but you can't bring any weapon besides the ten weapons that are provided. Oh, that's true. Was there a? Yeah. I think it was mentioned that we could make checks to repair the boat, or but it's not in the dock because I just not can't fix the boat. Um, yeah, the boats cannot be fixed. That was an older rule, and it just made things take way too long. Fair so enough. now the okay. carts, uh, you might be thinking about the carts. The carts could be repaired. Okay, gotcha. Oh yeah, pit yeah. crews. Okay. Now, if, yeah, yeah. If we were to build some sort of device that uh -huh. launched the included javelins at uh -huh. a higher speeds so they would deal more damage mm -hmm. the would device would qualify you? as a weapon and would oh. not be allowed into the arena so so okay so you have a spear and you have one of those little spear thrower sticks the spear thrower uh -huh. stick isn't a weapon uh-huh I mean, technically it's, it's technically it's, it's kind of a weapon yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, a bow like, a bow like, a bow is a arrow launcher um but well, yeah. also a weapon yeah Let's say I had a, like a harpoon, couple... a harpoon gun, a harpoon and the harpoon gun are both. Now you might ask, what if Bullbug went to this and he has his horns? Bullbug. Does that count as a weapon? Do they chop off his horns? They do not. You are allowed to keep your natural weapons. Wow, so, no, no wonder they're if I get a major addition. Onto my arm. <laughs> so, if, so basically, if you're going up against like the undead team in this event, it's gonna suck because they have a lot of strong natural attacks. Um, Which we are, so, right? Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. Mm, good so. yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's so what gonna, if I just that's, to, that's gonna be tricky. What if I had some definitely unmagical strips of cloth and some non-magical well, oil, and uh, they just have to be could... combined with uh, some javelins? You you want to smuggle in 
and then build weapons, even though it specifically says you <laughs> cannot bring what weapons. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, just adding, I'm just adding <laughs> cloth, cloth soaked in oil to javelins. Is this, is this uh, creating a new form of weapon? I mean, it's pretty dope. Do you have some means to naturally cause that to happen? I guess Easter. is the question. Easter. Naturally cause what oiled? Yeah, like cloth? like if you were if you were like blazing Ben, um, a a fire nymph, and you could create you know fiery effects. Sure, if you had a mystical coach who could produce flames, and they could throw those flames at the cloth that you tore off of your uh, off of your cloak, and put on the javelin. That could certainly happen. Wouldn't if that, your cloak, point... if your cloak happened to be soaked in oil, oh yeah, is that magic affecting the boat? Yeah, because mm. yeah, 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 I guess you'd, I guess you'd magic. have to, I guess you'd have to light it yourself. I think you would probably get away oh, with if we just put our tinderbox and yeah. some torches. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you would get away with that. Yeah, Hell yeah. Uh, bring, bringing the supplies to make flaming javelins. I think you would get away with that. That's not magical, and yeah, I'm pretty sure you could get away with it. All right, yeah. well. <laughs> So no, if I don't. poured like alchemist fire onto a javelin and then threw it, does alchemist fire count as magic? Alchemist fire would yeah. count as a weapon. They would not let you bring it. Okay. What Oren is uh, suggesting basically is sneaking the different parts of the bomb onto the airplane in each person's butt or uh, carry on. You know, like oh yeah. this, yeah, I mean, this, it's is like, it's like, this is just a very small bottle of shampoo. Wink, yeah, and not, then somebody it's... else is like, oh this, this is just a stopwatch. Yeah. You know, and then yeah, see, you go. My yeah, yeah. my uh, friend Siba yeah. here drinks oil. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a prize in Noriander. It coats the esophagus. It coats the esophagus. Yeah, it's good. This, is, <laughs> this is like a potion. Yeah, so um, that would be fine. Yeah, you could probably do that. About your about your undead natural attacks being extremely mm -hmm. strong. One could argue that the state of undeath itself is magical mm, in nature. That's mm. true. That's mm. true. Yeah, but they have a it's note from a... their they have a note from their mommy. That apparently, feels uh, like being cheating. being being uh, apparently uh, being undead is not magical. It's so, not. It's not. Uh, it's not cheating. It's nepotism. <laughs> so, yeah, L Lutheria said my champions get to compete, and they were like, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Don't worry. So, my, my can also use account. the magic of undead. <laughs> if I happen right. to I mean, die, I guess. Yeah, yeah. If, if you die, up. I'm sure you'll come back to life uh, spectacularly in front of up. everyone. I think I'll yeah. pass. That'd be pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. All right, so uh, I'm going to bring a uh, whole person. Okay. Uh, some of my faith thing. You bring and, um, like, tidal wave, right? You're gonna bring that anyway. I can't, because you know, if I do that, I, I I'm gonna mess with the boats. Yeah, but you should bring that anyway, and then I'm gonna bring suggestion, and we'll uh, we'll figure out a way to make it happen for our favor. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Wait, sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. Ignore that. I mean, I could bring water wall again. Right. Okay, if Warriors. I put the, so okay, well. yeah. the wall down, okay. If I put water wall down and somebody else runs into it with their own boat, That's but I get disqualified for boat. it, yeah. you would have a magical effect affecting a boat. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, I like I didn't put it then for them to <laughs> affect it. They ran into it after I placed it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's still All right. okay. All right. So Warren I'm buys All right, five oil flasks and a magnificent red cloak. So in the cart in the in the chariot race. It explicitly says, use magic to create obstacles on the field and fuck up carts. Like, so obviously they know what when they want to see this happen and when they don't want to see it happen. Right. And obviously yeah. they only see flaming javelins, so... Yeah. I mean, you guys will be able to make flaming javelins. I said you could. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm uh, just but, saying. But each of you will have to bring a different part of it or the judges, uh, the uh, you know, the authorities, as it were, the, the game's authorities will probably piece together what's happening right. All right, but if Sibo has like a, a flask and it's like Sibo's ass ointment you know what I'm saying yeah. and it's actually it's actually full of like you know oil and then you've got you know um, cloth strips that you're tearing off of your cloak or whatever etc cetera, etc cetera. like that and then you put them all together that's smart that's really cool but right. if you showed up with ye old Maltov cocktail kit right. uh, they're going to be like no we're going to have to take this from the old town general store. And here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing. They obviously are going to give you a little bit of leeway because you're going up against some extremely powerful supernatural opponents. Mm -hmm. So, 
you know, these are the grand spectacles. One might argue that they're magical in nature. Here's the thing. I don't know if any of you watch professional wrestling, but there are supposedly rules in professional wrestling. Hmm. And the rules mostly are there, I think, so that people could do dope shit uh, that is against the rules and get away with it because of how dope that shit is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you're willing, if you're willing to take the risk, it might pay off, but it might not. Depends on how how dope it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay. Our javelins finesse are just spears. But you are you are going up against uh, the people from Praxis. They don't. Praxis doesn't like you. Sidon doesn't like you. Um, they're probably going to be, they're probably going to be real sticklers for, for what's going on. Are javelins, uh, finesse like spears or just spears? They are, they are just javelins. Fuck. Yeah, this, uh, I believe it does. It says it's a spear. I don't know if it counts as a spear for all the spear related shit. Um, as far as feats and stuff, but we'll say it could count as a spear. That's fine. Because nah, the description it's... is a light and flexible spear is designed for throwing, but is versatile enough to be used in melee as well. But it is not, it is just a thrown weapon. And so it's all strength all day, all the time. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, so it's not a finesse weapon. Hmm. How many spells can I I never removed that. Uh, and and, and Dragos, goes, can you smite their ship? Uh, no, because that would also be counted as magic. Impediment. Yeah, I knew that one. But you might be able to get away with it, honestly. <laughs> because if they see who you're up against um, and the fact that these people uh, could just hit much harder than you guys can with their just natural attacks and stuff, the yeah, probably you could probably get away with dropping some smites. So I don't know if I like the use of probably, but okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, there's no guarantees. There's no guarantees. Do we bring uh, our own javelins so and I can probably... smuggle in a spear? Or... Uh, no, they will be in the boat when you get there. There'll be ten javelins waiting for you in the boat. Are you trying to arrange for? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so some uh, contraband to be there. Mm. I mean, oh yeah. Nah, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go out of my way to to cheat like that. I mean, I'll bring in Molotov kit, but I won't uh, smuggle a spear. But, but we can bring rope, though, right? That's not a weapon. It's totally fine. Yeah, I mean, of course we're bringing rope. And we can bring an anchor that we can tie that rope to and then tie to their boat. That's not. A, that's not a weapon either. That's actually a good point. <laughs> you want to bring it? You want to bring an anchor in with yeah, you? It's just to help me stay on the boat. Is all that it is? But yes. Okay, have uh, just hear me out. Have you guys considered just participating in the event? Yeah, yeah exactly. I, like, I mean, that's it's just I don't, I don't know. Like, fucking no, are you crazy? <laughs> All right, that's how I started this. You're not sorry you these, started this. These are perfectly uh, reasonable questions. Yeah, right. <laughs> mm. Mm. Bringing my Vulcan rope and two more. So obviously, I will be casting. Uh, Water breathing on everyone the morning of, either way. Fair, fair. Yeah. If, if you're, if, are you going to do water walking as well? Um, are you requesting the water walking for your team, I mean, Dom? The... I, I mean, you know, I would like it, you know, just in case. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about um, we'll talk about if what not, I need from you if I'm going to do that for your team. I mean, no, if, if not, if, if not, I'll, I'll go ahead. And... <laughs> I'll go ahead and prepare it myself, you know? Yeah. No, 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 don't worry. I would say that if it's a ritual, I can do it. If somebody wants it, we can, we can do that. That's not a problem. I'm gonna buy three normal health potions and give one to Loris. Oh, okay. Yeah, Loris will definitely take that potion. I will uh, buy a. Uh, I'll buy one health potion for each teammate. Wow! Thanks, my. Well, each a teammate. Whoa, hmm. whoa! All right, I'm not casting water breathing. Then. Okay. <laughs> no. no um, um, what about familiars? Um, in terms of like, I don't know. Sophia having a potion that can fly out if needed or whatever is that a no no? I don't know what the familiar situation is. Yeah, I guess is a is a familiar, like, well, I, I guess for you, you're on, you're, you're on you're you're in the thing, so I guess it's fine, right? As long as you're not using the magic to affect the boat. 
So, so this happened in the Prime game. They wanted to bring familiars into the events. Um, if familiar participates, the familiar is treated as a part of your team for anything that would be related to um, your team. So, in this particular event, familiar would probably be pretty handy. But in one of the, one or two of the events, there was points for killing team like opposing team members and one of the teams won by killing a familiar from the other team which gave them like full points for killing a member of the other team okay. yeah but for this event i feel like you should be fine so uh andronicos uh tycon and karina all have one health potion perfect man Got that old money from Themis. I mean, no, I, I got that's the money <laughs> I won. The money no. I won from the from the first game. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I spent all. Yeah, I, I dropped all my uh, my metal money for the uh, these potions. All right, let's do it. Um, you think Julian would need to? Oh, can we uh, get access to Julian's sheet? Or I guess you could run him either or. Oh yeah, how how much was the? Oh, it's probably in a, in a journal someplace. Hold on. I don't know if I want to see Julian's sheet. I'm afraid to see Julian's sheet. I feel like <laughs> looking at content. So wait, yeah, is one is one of you going to control Julian then, or do you want me to NPC him? I think uh, I think you've got a you're more in touch with Julian, yeah. Ah, okay, fair, fair. You're also going to be running like ten other NPCs. I don't know if you. It's fine. <laughs> it's yeah. fine. When I was watching back the uh, the game uh, from last week, that it only took uh, like three full rounds. Oh, five full rounds. It was three full rounds to get to the point where everybody was in the middle, and then it was two rounds from then to get to the end. So it was a five-round combat. It was great. It was a, it was a lot. It was a lot. The oh, um, Battle of 100 Hands is really hard to run um, without it grinding too hard. I will tell everybody a million times before we do it that if NPCs are engaged with each other, leave <laughs> them alone. Because yeah, yeah, when yeah. NPCs are engaged with each other, they're not engaged with you, and then we don't keep track of what they're doing other than to just roll a couple of things. Yeah. And a five round combat that means thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. And how many meters fell? Oh my goodness. It was eighteen it was eighteen <laughs> seconds. It was eighteen seconds when the big one showed up. And then it was another twelve seconds of the middle the middle fight. I Imagine, think about it. Like that means that means yeah. health like in like 12 seconds, that's when the fire elemental showed up. Look, yeah. I've kind of left the the 12 second, like, or the 6 second combat, like, headspace a long time ago. It just doesn't really make too much sense for, for 5e. Like, <laughs> like, I used to do martial arts, and I know that, like, time does feel slower when you are fighting. Like, when you're in, like, a sparring match, when you're, you know, you're out there and you're in it and you're fighting and stuff like that, and you're like, damn, I've been doing this for years, and then it was, like, a two-minute match or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not the same as, like, oh, the fight was over in 18 seconds. Like, no. No. That's not. That's just so fucking dumb. Um, And we all know that with the banter and, like, uncorking a potion and drinking it, but then also still running up and swinging a sword, at, none of that shit's actually happening in six seconds. Um, That's one of the first things I feel like people need to kind of move away from when they're imagining what's happening. Like, that and how hit points work. Oh, for sure. Yeah, like, hit points are different for every character. For someone yeah. like Tycon, who a big boy... Like, he gets hit by shit, right? He gets hit by shit, he pulls the arrow out of the wound, he, he you know, roars, uh, he, you know, he, he, like, charges you, the whole deal. Orin he blocks it with a shield, or definitely dodges out of the way, you know what I'm saying? But, like, he's still, when he gets hit, uh, he's still losing hit points. Hit points are just, like, Enduring. everything you, everything yeah, you got until you don't got it anymore. And that's why bloodied is so important because bloodied represents if you're watching a movie, right? Main character is getting shot at, main character is getting attacked, then all of a sudden, oh shit, main character got shot in the arm. That's when they got bloodied. Yep. Then they keep going and they're getting shot at, they're getting knocked down some stairs, they're getting beat up, uh, but they're still going, they're still going, and then all of a sudden, the bad guy pulls a knife. Stabs him in the gut and he dies. And you're like, how did he die from a, a stab wound to the gut after he survived everything else that happened? Hit points. 
Like, yeah. he just didn't have anything left. Yeah. Um, And that one game with Nathan Drake or whatever, the boy yeah. Tomb Raider guy, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, there's Uncharted. Yeah, there's like, a, there's like a luck luck system, I guess. And that represents like when he runs out of luck, he, he no longer, he starts getting like shot and killed and stuff like that. Like, that's the same idea. Like, for different characters, hit points represent, represent different things. Um, so just kind of, you know, work that around. And then also, like, don't don't stress about, like, a six-second combat round. You know, yeah. it, it, combat took as long as it needed to take for the cool shit to happen. It's, <laughs> it's a much better a much much better way to think of it. Yeah. So, all right. Because yeah, right, you do don't want to look back at your coolest fights and be like, that was the most intense 18 seconds <laughs> of my life. Makes yeah, it better, honestly. I hear, I hear that a lot. I, just, yeah. I know. Uh, I was you, waiting. I was uh, like, I was like, and Q Sibo joke about his wedding night. Like, here we go. <laughs> like clockwork. Yeah. All right. So she said that too. You 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 hatch your incredible MacGyver esque plan to sneak the components in to create flaming javelins. Fantastic. I will probably require some um, investment of action economy into the creation of these flaming javelins, but you know, we'll we'll work on that. We'll do it. We'll do a skill check, and that'll determine how long it takes you guys to assemble the flaming javelins. Essentially, um, what other preparations are you going to make? And is there any particular uh, role playing that you're hoping to do that night to sort of celebrate and prepare for the next day? Mm -hmm. I think Oren probably just buy his stuff, come up with the strategy with the uh, Sibo and Julian, and then head to bed. Yeah. Okay. Same. We, we all got pretty messed up during the fights. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Maya will probably go visit Corinna. She's mm. doing. Okay. Okay. She was missing a lot. Yeah. Like she, she was, was frustrated. Mad. All right, let's see. Let me take you to. We'll go to the palace map again. All right. So you're going to go and talk to Corinna, who is still super pissed about how things went down um, at the at the events her her team still won um yeah, but won. uh yeah so by this point we're assuming it's a little late at night maybe or mm -hmm. okay, okay. Maybe, I'll, maybe i'm bringing her dinner or something oh that's nice yeah because she like you know didn't eat with everybody because she's super pissed off doing her own thing mm -hmm. all right so uh as you are making your way through uh the halls of the palace uh, you wander into someone. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Um, so it's, it's a little scary. It's like Resident Evil 8, big lady scary. Mm -hmm. Like you think you're alone in the hallway, but you kind of sense something like behind you. And when you turn, she's just kind of encompassing most of the hallway and just looking down at you. Uh, uh evening, uh, Lady Lutheria. Okay. Um, her human eyes uh, squint into like little happy like chibis, uh, but her, her third eye stares at you, um, not blinking. And she says, uh, Oh, Lady Lutheria, oh, how polite. I would expect nothing less from a servant of my mother doing wandering the halls of the palace at this late hour champion don't you have a very important event to oversee tomorrow uh yes but i, I want to uh, bring some food to one of my uh teammates oh are they not feeling well should i change my wagers oh no no i'm pretty sure they're they're fine i think they were training and that's why i'm bringing their their food Ah, oh, yes, yes. Hmm. Is it the one who kept getting so angry today? Um, you know, yeah. the beautiful young girl with the Dragonlord bloodline and the horrible scars? 
Um, why, yes, it is her. Um, mm. Yes. If I recall, she was very, very close to becoming mine. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I didn't, that's, that's the first, the first I've heard of it, heard of that. Really? Hmm. You don't remember when you were battling Esther? Well, uh, I'm I took a great deal of interest in that particular adventure that you went on. Esther is a bit of a hobby of mine. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, I, I, realization has dawned on me. Uh, well, I, I did offer the, uh, the diamonds, right? You did, and they were lovely. But, I mean, the soul of one of the last living descendants of the Dragon Lords? Well, I feel like. You got quite a bargain there. Well, uh, we, we all end up coming to you later on, so... I know, but I can be so impatient sometimes. Especially when I see something that I want. Well, um... I will, I will say, uh... Uh... The, uh, settler races don't live that, that long, so it's not like you have to wait too long, right? Oof. From what I understand, none of us are going to have to wait very long for anything soon. Mm -hmm. How are you handling all that? Um? I mean, this prophecy. It's a little controversial. I mean, aren't you a druid of the old wood? Don't you serve my mother? I, I do. Weren't you raised by the natives of this land who for centuries have been oppressed by the settlers? Uh, yeah. que question. Uh, mm -hmm. Are the Druids of the Old Wood uh, both humans who, I mean, settlers who have joined or is it just... Oh no, it's yeah, it's 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 open to everybody. It's okay. people who but they are people who believe in a more natural order yeah. of yeah. of serving Thy Thylea and living in harmony with the land instead of yeah. um taking the land and changing it to fit their needs, which is what the settlers do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh well uh we are all uh uh Thylea's children and Part of that is also all living together. Mm. That's what I hope to to achieve with through this prophecy. And dying together, don't forget that. Like I guess so too. Uh her eyes squint into the little like lines of happiness again, and her, her cheeks kind of rise up uh in a smile. And she says, I like you. Quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I feel like you understand things in a way that other people don't. Also, there's, you know, all of this. And she kind of like, uh, kind of moves her finger in like a circular gesture. Not like a crazy gesture, but like a summoning magic kind of finger touch sort of thing. And her hair begins to sort of like undulate like snakes. Mm -hmm. To kind of mimic what yours is doing. Mm -hmm. How did you come across that? Um, I understand that some Medusae are born that way, but the stories of the Bard seem to paint a different picture. Well, I hope to find that out. Mm, I see. Well, I'm not swearing an oath or even really giving you my word, but... I need you to know something, Maya of the Old Wood. That I'm here for you. If you ever need anything, you just have to ask. Well, uh, we, we all end up 
towards you anyways, so I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Well, I'll let you head along to your friend. All right. You have a, a wonderful even, evening, Lady Luthier. Oh, I, I just remembered. Uh, and she kind of reaches into her feathered cloak, uh, and you hear, like, caw-caw sounds, like, as if, like, birds were displaced as she kind of reaches into the cloak. And she pulls out a very ominous-looking bottle, um, and she hands it to you and says, Here's wine from my personal stock. Please, share it with your friend. Mm. It would mean so much to me. And Maya, I'll know if you do or don't. And then she smiles at you again, uh, and she turns to leave. Okay. Um, take care. Uh, oof. Right. It's mm -hmm. like when you know who the serial killer is, but you see him in the hallway and you gotta act cool, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Maya's not, not gonna drink that wine at all. She doesn't drink Damn. wine in the first place. So what, what do you do with the wine? You like pour it into like a potted plant or something? No, I'll keep it. I'll keep it in the bottle. Oh. Okay. Then add wine from Lutheria to your character sheet. Power move to just chug it as she walks away. Pour all out to her. Oh. Sorry, I didn't leave any for myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so you roll up on um, uh, Corinna's room. It is late at night, and Corinna is there. Um, and she is sitting on her bed, staring at the blank wall. Um. I'll, I, okay, so uh, I walk into her, I open up the door, I guess, to her room okay. to see her Lunette. And uh, yeah. if she's still yeah, there, she's just, then... She just seems completely lost, as if she's in some kind of trance as she I'll stares knock, at the wall. I'll knock against the door while it's open mm -hmm. and mention and call it, call to her. Okay. Uh, let's see. Eh? Hmm. My shift Z isn't working. At least not. A, oh, this is an oh, yeah, old yeah. Maya. That's why. Get out of here, old Maya. I will throw it out there that the inevitable aging out and breaking of uh, character sheets and tokens is not exclusively a found uh, foundry thing. It happens in Roll Twenty also. I mean, this is uh, yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, want the, to... like the longer a campaign goes on, like things just break. You know, after a while. Um, all right, so you knock on the door, and she stops, and she turns slowly, like, creepily slowly, like, turns her head to, to look at you. She just okay. stares at you. Hey, Corinna, uh, how, how are you? I'm good. We, uh, we won. No thanks to me and my physical weakness. Well, uh, I'm not sure if you, pretty sure you understand this, but uh, the point of that competition was to, was to survive, not to destroy the opponent. So I think you did really well, being one Thanks. of the people to the last to the end. She kind of stares at you and she says, um, "I agree. In the end, winning was all that mattered." So. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I, uh, that'll have to do. I brought you some... Uh, i just yeah. so disappointed. Not every event is going to allow for the weak to survive. Mm. Oh, you brought some food? Yes. Okay. Uh, she takes the plate from you. And it is not the polite 
uh, you know, Krita that you remember. Like, she snatches the plate away and just starts to, like, hand fist it into her mouth. Hmm. And then with, like, a mouthful of food, she looks at you, she's like, something wrong? No, um... Well, actually... How, 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 how have you been feeling, Corinna? Because I feel like... Uh, I know a lot has happened, and I, if you want to talk about it, I'll, I'll, I'm here to listen. Uh, to do... I, I know a lot, you know, after we went through the Knicks and... We saw the the monster that is Esther, mm, and mm -hmm. you uh, died, and I had to bring you know I had to bring you back. Um, a lot has happened, and I feel like uh, you know you've all of us have have gone through a lot, and maybe some of us is, you know could use someone to talk to. So if you want somebody to talk to, I'm here. Are you sure you don't need someone to talk to? I could probably use someone to talk to at some point. I mean, you're a you're the druid, right? I mean, you're the one that should have kept us alive in that fight. I mean, if you had done a better job, like I wouldn't look like this, and 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 Kyra wouldn't be dead. And that's true. I mean, I'm doing everything I can to try to get strong so that something like that doesn't happen again. But but what are you doing? I'm coming here to speak to you. Make sure you're okay. Make and sure all, every, all of my companions are okay. Mm. Uh, plate completely cleared of food. Um, she kind of just sets the plate down uh, with a clank and you see her grab uh, a big flagon of wine from like the nightstand and just kind of starts drinking from the flagon. Doesn't even pour it into a bowl. Did she pour anything out beforehand? Uh, she did not. Okay. And you know that Corinna normally does. I, I see you didn't Pour any out this time. I'll pour it out when I take a piss later. Mm. And then she wipes her mouth with like her forearm, like, whoosh, like wipes her forearm across her mouth. Are you all right, mm. Maya? You just you seem off. Um. Hey, uh, I know that, you know, it's the great games and stuff like that, and it's a very mm -hmm. big event. Uh, do you think your your uh, your fathers would have come and visited to watch the games? And do they, you know, they may, they may know that you're competing. Oof. Um, you know, they have that farm, I, and, you know, things have been pretty hard up in Astoria with the... Um, with that big boar that you guys took care of, like ravaging the countryside and stuff. I I think as proud as they probably would be, they, they wouldn't really be able to get away for something as frivolous as the great games, which I, I understand. Hmm. Would you have wanted them to come and watch? Uh, when you ask that, uh, you see her face look very conflicted. And then she says, oh, yes, of course. I, I miss them. Hmm. But I'm glad they didn't come because they would have seen how yeah, weak I, mean, I am. I mean, they would have saw their, their daughter uh, win one of the Grand Spectacles, being one of the last persons to, to stand there. Also, being one of the one people to take one of the most critical shots at the last person stand too. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. 
But they're not here, and, you know, maybe that's for the best. Yeah, maybe. You know, it's getting pretty late, and we have to compete tomorrow. Maybe you should go. Okay, well, you want to... Like I said before, if you need someone to speak to, I'm here. Oh, and here, this is for you. And I'll give her the the um, potion that I had bought for every, of every one of my teammates. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, she looks at it and says, uh, what do I owe you for this? Oh, uh, you don't. I won, I won some money betting on us. Oh. All right. She snatches it away from you. Okay. <sighs> All right, Corinna. Uh, see you tomorrow. We got to win this one too yeah we have, uh, we have andronicos on us and he's very good at uh riding ri driving boats anyways yeah yeah i mean he's a he's a fish person so that 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 checks out i guess mm -hmm. is this the first time corinna is called andronicos a fish person oh yeah hmm Are you are you sure you're okay, Karina? Uh, I, I mean, that's the first time I've heard you call in Andronico. So, I mean, I survived. I survived a life of death situation. I mean, you know, maybe I'm just trying to re redefine myself. Maybe I'm just trying out to do a new me. Uh, do you do you like your new, your new you? I mean, could do with some more muscles. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Maya, if you're going to continue to keep me awake and bother me, l let me ask. Are you able to access the king's wing of the palace? Because I like moseyed on over there, but all of his side of nights, they, they recognize me as being associated with you guys, and then they wouldn't let me in. And I even said I was there to, like, you know, make the sweet love to the king, and then they made some rude comments about the scars mm. and whatnot. Um, I mean, are you able to, to get in there? Or... Who are you? What are you talking about? Yeah, See, who are you? this is just what I'm talking about. You come here and you say, oh, Corinna, I'm checking in on you. What can I do for you? How can I help you? And then, you know what? Y you finally get past my defenses, and I ask you for help, and immediately you start judging me. Well, and start asking me all sorts of questions. Like, who am I? I don't know. I don't know. Who am I, Maya? I, well, the Karina I knew. Am I the young girl that you dragged along on your feeble attempts at heroism? That you let get horribly scarred? That you almost let die? Is that who I am, Maya? Actually, I don't know if that's you. Right now. I think you should Cause that, go. Because that girl wouldn't have wanted to do that to the king. Do what to the king? Wouldn't even think about offering herself to the king like oh that. i was ugh, i wasn't really going to do that that was just so what? i could get it and spy on him not in, even to make the the joke or attempt to it who, who i mean you? the king has a reputation yeah i was just trying to take advantage of it so that I... do you think that that icarus is the only dragon that he has access to i'm trying to get in there and see if there's any you know dragon eggs and stuff Hmm. Why? Uh, so I could become a dragon lord? Mm-hmm. You think Andronicos is the only one that uh, could, could be a dragon lord? No. Well, there you go. But to be a dragon lord, you need a dragon. And where else are there going to be dragons but hidden away in the king's wing of the palace? And you wanted to sneak inside there and try and steal one? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Karina. Uh, good night. Okay. Well, thanks for nothing again.
And uh, Maya's gonna just leave. Okay. Do you close the door or no? No. Oh, dang. All right. As you walk down the hallway, you hear the door angrily slam behind you. All right. Anything else from Maya? Um, no. It's I guess it'd probably be really late at that point, so probably okay. nothing right now. You're supposed to leave the door how you found it, man. How is this a hard con? <laughs> <laughs> Unless they tell you otherwise, gee. Okay. Um, does anyone else have any other business that evening? Uh I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. Orin's going to be sleeping right. on the boat now. Well, Sibo sleeps on the boat. Yeah. Orin will go back right. so they can strategize. And so that oh, okay, so you guys are having a camp out at the boat then. Yeah. Orin doesn't want to spy on you. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Orin doesn't want to sleep at the palace with Luther around. So That's a good, good move on your part. It's a very good move on your part. All right. Um, all right. In that case, you guys make your plans. You get your sleep. And the next day, you head back to the Coliseum. Do you at any point relay any of your concerns about Corinna to the rest of us? All right. If I, if, I, if, if I ever run into you guys during that night, I would definitely mention it. Okay. You, but you don't mention it otherwise? Uh, if I mean, if I see them. If I do see them, whenever I do see them, I'll, I'll mention it. Probably see them at breakfast. Then, yeah, I would probably mention it then. But I probably won't mention it while... Actually, you know, Maya would probably mention it while see, while Corinna is around. Oh, oh shit. shit. All right, oh, Derek. Oh, hold on, Derek hold on. Back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If she's if at breakfast, Corinna is also there. And then Andronicos and Seaboard, uh, Andronicos is there mm. and Tycon and everybody's with us. Well, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have R and Jesus determine if she would be at breakfast or after what happened last night she would be deliberately distancing herself from you. All right, here we go. I'm gonna say that there's probably only like a thirty percent chance that she would show up for breakfast. She'd probably just meet you guys there. Oh, she definitely showed up for fucking breakfast. All right, hold on, change the scenes, change the scenes. <laughs> Damn. All right. Uh, you guys all roll up into uh, breakfast. Servants like leave plates of uh, cured meats, um, different uh, styles of eggs, and a number of different fruits, uh, including... Um, What's that one that's like got the red pomegranates? There we go. Yeah. Uh, which are said to give you a lot of like oomph when you're getting out there to do the um, heroics. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, and because Maya's here, they also bring um, cold grapes and cheese. Nice. Okay. Um, there is a tremendous amount of libations. And one of the servants says, um, courtesy of the Titaness. Lutheria. It's, uh, not late, late. it's not even nine in, in the morning. <laughs> this is a breakfast wine. <laughs> I mean, bro, it's Greece. I mean, it's yeah. fancy <laughs> Greece. So, a, couple things, a couple things that uh, Maya would mention at breakfast yeah. is running into Lutheria. It's uh, technically a mead, which they did actually have in Greece. Yeah, um, yeah. in fact, the gods preferred it to wine. Um, running into the theory and, and having the wine here and being like, uh, mm -hmm. the theory gave you this uh, this wine, uh, especially since mm -hmm. they mentioned like courtesy of uh, Etheria breakfast wine. Uh, I would probably mention that I got this wine from Etheria as well, and Sibo or anybody else is there, or is there, you know, I'll let them see it. You should um, toss it. Um, uh, she said that she would know if we didn't drink it, so I haven't All the better it. reason to toss it. I'll, uh, I'll actually oh, uh, identify it. <laughs> I'll take a ritual identify on it. Okay. Um, here, here's a, here's a picture of, uh, the wine that she gave you. Hold on. 
<laughs> just has a skull and crossbones. On yeah, it. exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's a uh, actually, there's, actually, there's no crossbones, but. On <laughs> <laughs> mm. second thought, this is a, we can keep this as a as a weapon. Yeah. It's um, fine, guys. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Sibo, as you perform a, um, identify on it, uh, as a ritual using your hundred GP or Drachme gemstone mm -hmm. as your, uh, foci, um, you realize that this is a wine, but it is also possessed of powerful magics of a divine nature. Uh, the exact nature of it is unknown, but it is necromantic in nature. Hmm. She told like, you to drink this. She told me to told me to share it with my uh, with my companion. Actually, Krina. You have detect magic as well, still or no? Uh, I I would have to ritual that. I don't think I would think unless I would think of it. If Sibo would think of it, I would do it. But I I wouldn't immediately. Sibo's pretty smart. I think honestly, I think it's a. If you're really concerned about an item, it would definitely then, be yeah. part of the process. Then yeah, I would do that to them. Okay. Um, this has abjuration and necromantic magic, uh, inf 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 infused in it. Um, it is quite powerful. Okay. Would also relay that. It's obviously some sort of trick. Probably poisoned. I'm surprised that she would be so blatant, but... That being well, said, she, I... she, she she did say she liked me and that then she handed me this. So, uh... I say we toss it. Well, um, I'm pretty hardy. I could try it. Wait, it's like great. Corinna, Corinna looks at you <laughs> and she says, um, wait, she gave you that for for what for you to drink? Yeah, she told me to share it with my companion that I was bringing dinner to. Turned out to be you. Which was me, huh? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Her face, yeah, it gets like real sus. She is sus right now. She says you can't trust anything from that woman. Mm -hmm. As you know, because you guys had terrible nightmares delivered upon you, remember? The terrible nightmares that she sent you? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, there's something I wanted to uh, bring up to everybody. Uh, looking at Corinna, there's uh, more than just this wine. Yeah. Um, I, I. And then like uh. Oh wait yes. wait wait we have to we have to insert need, a little I, bit a little bit of Julian real quick hold on hold on. Uh, off in the distance, you hear Julian arguing with uh, one of the palace servants. Listen, darling, listen, listen. These grapes, they're not peeled. Who Who is going to eat these? Who is supposed to eat these grapes? They're chilled, yes, but they're not peeled. Do you understand? You gotta just, just take them. Just take them back. Just take them back. Good, <sighs> come on, keep, keep it to four bowls this morning, please. Uh, he gives you a rude gesture. <sighs> Okay. All right. Back to you guys. All right. That was for uh, you, David. That was for uh, you. I'll bring out my uh, my uh, intervention sign um, and uh, lift it up and make sure uh, it's in your view of Corinna. All right. Corinna looks at you and says, "What is this?" Um, I think. Uh, oh gosh. I think you know we might need to have a bit of a talk, Corinna. Uh, all right. So you think I'm possessed by the ghost of Esther Arkelander? Sibo spits his food out. Well, uh, is that true? Is that true? Wait, that... Orin was asking Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Orin acts. Yeah, Corinna. Corinna raises yeah. her remaining I look, eyebrow and I looks turned, at you. I, I don't I know, Corinna. Maya. Is it true? Well. I would say that you've been acting very strange, a way that you normally don't act, and uh, it's kind of similar to the way uh, he acted. You knew him that well, huh? Well, at least from what we saw. Divine sense. Hmm. 
Hold on. Let me double check something real quick. I yeah, know I mean, divine sex sucks so hard in the fifth age of magic, but yeah, from Warren's perspective, he got yeeted off the boat, missed the whole last half of the fight, and hasn't really been around Corona, so he has no idea. Really, any any weirdness he saw would have been perceived as her being kind of coping with okay. being Co dead. According to sage advice, um, it does not. Gate. All right. Um. Yeah. Mm. Does oh, detect good wow. and evil do anything that divine sense doesn't? Which is a, detect our another, no. another great question. Yeah, it doesn't detect it alignments anymore. <laughs> is detect good and evil still a spell? Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's see. For the duration, you know if there is an aberrant celestial elemental or fiend within 30 feet of you, as well as where the creature is located. You know if there is a place or object within 30 feet. Then, as we regenerate most barriers. Uh, yep, yep. There is a ghost inside Corinna if you, if you cast that. Yeah. I will absolutely. I'm so that. sorry they nerfed divine sense. I feel like it was a long time coming. Like 40 plus years of people's games getting ruined <laughs> by paladins. So motherfucking demon. <laughs> uh, yeah. But they were like, but we'll still leave Detect Evil and Good in there just in case. Make you burn a slot if you want to derail. Okay. Andronicus, oh, no, what are yeah, you? I, I did. I yeah, yeah. What are, you, uh, what are you doing, Andronicus? He starts casting a spell. So Corinna just calmly drinks breakfast wine. Just, uh, just and, sta and stares at you. What do you see? <laughs> uh, well. Um. Is Halise around? <laughs> yeah, Halise's around. Right here. Uh, Halise, would you like to talk over here away <laughs> from Corinna? Oh, um, certainly. If there's going to be an intervention, I think we should keep everybody in the loop. Uh, and Julian sees Halise approaching and he says, Halise, darling, you understand what I'm going through here. Uh, we have a very Halise, important event mind. today. You we need our no strength. back. Halise immediately runs back to you. Uh, there appears to be a ghost in residence inside. Fine, the yeah, room. okay, it's me, a Master Arcalander. I'm inside the kid. Jeez. Yeah, give us the fucking kid back, Esther. No, I have the kid hostage until I get what I want, and I will kill this host if you don't help me get what I want. I want to cast this. You want to cast a spell on what? No. <laughs> Good one, though. Good one. Uh, it, and she punches you hard in the shoulder. Uh, no, no, no. The king of Cassis. Uh, the plan hasn't changed. You might have stolen my fucking boat, and you might have released my entire crew to fates worse than undeath in the underworld, which, yeah, honestly, they probably had it coming anyways. And, you know, you, you killed the love of my life, but, you know, that's fine. That's fine. She probably had it. You know what? She did have it coming, too. That's fine, too. But, like... You did that. No, 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 no. Don't, no, don't try to turn this around on me. Don't try to turn this around on me. If you guys had been strong enough, she wouldn't have had to intervene. And you know that's the truth. This is victim blaming. Julian. Yeah. Victim blaming? I'm the victim. You victim. showed up to my house. You took everything from me. And then you, uh, you had my... The love of my life kills herself in front of me. And then you try... You talk about victim shaming. I'm the victim here. No. Now yeah. I'm riding around in a body that's so weak, I don't even know how this girl gets up in the morning. And then it's horribly scarred and maimed. And it's embarrassing. because and this, you're shit this, with a bow. This, this girl... Yeah, I am shit with a bow! I don't use a bow! Where, Boss are for cowards! Where's the, where's the holy water super soaker? I know. <laughs> Listen. I feel like Julian would have doused her by now. <laughs> the fucking holy water super soaker. This is Esther Arkelander who killed his mom. Press the digitated mustache on her. No, no. I feel like he would douse it with the. He's, yeah, he's yeah. over in the corner. He's tired. I, I, Esther, Esther is like, yeah, yeah. Soak it up, soak it up. I'm inside, dumbass. What are you gonna do? Stick it up her butt? Come on. Uh, we have to. My. Wow. You should be the one. Give her the. Listen. Super soak. And that won't work. It doesn't. It this doesn't is work a fair. Like this is a fair trade. You can keep the fucking boat. You can keep the boat. It's fine. Just. Just give me the king. I'll make sure that Mitros is ready for the war. The king's a horrible person, but the only 
There's only a few that would be worse than him, and you are one of them. Mm. I am effective. Look at his track record. Look at my track record. I get shit done. You've got... I've walked left. around this city. There's statues to be everywhere. We didn't make a deal with you when you had a ship and a crew. We won't make a deal with you now when you've got none of that. I have something better than that. I have this girl. And this girl, she loves you guys so much. Like, so much. It breaks my heart how 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 much she she worships you. You are you are her heroes. You are her role models. You are what she wants to be more than I want anything to else. Opus uh, after Ballast. Okay. Get my. I was the asking um, thing. question. Uh. Uh. Okay. Actually, hmm. I guess I would try. And... Hmm. Who would know this? Maybe Sibo. Sibo's Sibo's smart. Uh, Sibo, can I have a word with you? Hey, we already been over this. It's an intervention. Everything on I know, the table. I know. I, I, I know. Yeah, why well, do you need to have a secret word, Maya? Why can't you just, you know, put it out I, there? Aren't you like a princess or something? Aren't you going to be like a big shot That's like someday? acting like you're one yeah. of us. Um, I'll, uh, Sibo, let's come over here for a second. You know what? I don't have to stay around and, and deal with this. And, and she, goes to stand, she goes to stand up. Oh, yeah, I will absolutely grab her. Okay, this is All when right. she will really be upset about her low strength score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Sibo, okay. uh, yeah. you know the the what we did to protect ourselves from getting um, um, possessed before, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. what, if oh, oh shit! shit. She uh, she says, "Well, if you ain't strong, you gotta be quick." And she starts uh, trying to run out of there using light footed to disengage then starts running through the palace i think Orin can catch up with the action surges okay do you want to do you want to burn your action surge yeah shit okay um narratively i would say that you could probably yeah all right go give me a check to see if you can tackle her basically all right i'll use an inspiration for uh okay. acrobatics to trip her all right, maybe don't do everything privately, though. So. Oh, whoops, shit. Uh, public okay. rule, I burn the action surge, acrobat. All right. Oh, shit. All right, so, yeah, it's less of a grapple and more of a just a running, jumping tackle. Uh, and you kind of take her down to the ground. Uh, and she is trying to get free. Um, Eticus goes and stands over her and kind of growls in her face. Quick slap. Uh, rope. Bind her hands and feet. Okay. Sorry, Corinna. I'll drag. Well, I won't drag. I'll pick her up, bring her back. And, so, uh, uh, a, a shadow falls over you uh, and Eticus as you are tackling this young girl. Uh, looking up, you see uh, Lutheria staring down at you. Now is not the time. Dreamwalker, oh, you it's... never come to the palace. I've been looking for you since I arrived. I usually take my meals on the boat. I know. I didn't want to be rude or seem too desperate, but I smelled you. Uh... So I came to say good morning. Did you get the breakfast wine? It's made with bee vomit. Hmm. It's very tasty. 100% true. <laughs> oh, you have your little friends here. Seems your love interest has she, uh, has she, affected her. She reaches down and grabs Corinna by the hair. I'm gonna her, no. I'll only try to keep her out of Lutheria's crib. Oh shit! All right, you pull her away from Lutheria. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Yeah. I mean, she's not gonna like overpower you or anything. She's just gonna. Like she sees what you're doing and she just kind of watches. She watches in the way that adults watch children try to figure shit out. I'm gonna you know look her in the eyes and then I'm gonna uh -huh. invoke Valis and put sanctuary onto uh, Corinna. I mean, trying. She says, "Why is he still in there? I gave Maya the a potion that was supposed to take care of that." Uh. We wouldn't use anything you gave to us. Hmm. It's very insulting. I'm going to have to lower your piety for that one. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> and Maya, you feel the potion disappear from your from your person. Okay. Uh, Andronicus looks over in shock as the fourth wall falls down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look in the camera. Yeah, it, it, or Jim Bass in the camera. Actually, her her work in the fourth wall is actually lore, which you'll eventually learn. But anyways, um, all right. So she she just kind of lets out a huge sigh, uh, a, a tremendously like breast heaving sigh, and just says, "Um, Orin, I'm just trying to help, and you reject me constantly." And your allies, you've poisoned them against me. It's very unfair of you. Do that yourself. Hmm. Then, you know what? You can solve this little problem on your own. Good luck. And she turns and begins to walk away. Tell your undead to be ready. I hope they know how to swim. Orin's gonna shoulder Corinna and Head back to the breakfast room. Placebo. Uh, yeah, yeah. You remember how we uh, used uh, that uh, spell protect, uh, to protect us from getting possessed, right? Yes. Would it be possible to have that spell on King Acastus when uh, he leaves Corinna to try and attempt to possess him, have it failed, and then uh, have him exposed? There's a you duration on it. Like someone would have to be there to do it. Didn't we get those protection from good and evil scrolls? Or do we need we, another one? We used them. I mean, all. I can I can cast it. Yeah, like that. that would be... I can I can cast it as well. Meta, isn't that uh the research said that would dispel ghosts or no? Not once they've taken effect. Or... Um, it won't. It, it won't take. It won't. Yeah, it won't get rid of it. Yeah. It just makes it a. Uh... It makes it yeah. like you have you have uh, advantage if it's already happened. Yeah, let me hold. Let me look at the spell again, real quick. Uh, yeah, it'll prevent it before, but you, uh, you you have an easier chance. That of prevents it, it, but it doesn't knock anything out yeah, or yeah, possess like a higher level yeah. such creature. Target. Yeah, and if you get a saving throw, it gives you advantage. Yeah, but... there's no saving throws on possession. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. It takes like dispel evil and good, which is like a fifth level spell to. That's what it was. Yeah, dispel to, yeah. Kick, to to punt them out. Yep. Oh, oh, wait, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe Valis has that. Yeah, that's why I sent Elpis for Valis, because I want to know if she's able to do anything. What is it, boy? Did Timmy fall in the well again? God, my favorite thing with Pact of the Chain Warlock is that you can have them just, like, open your, their mouth and your words come <laughs> pouring out. Nice, yeah. <laughs> like, I love, I love doing that, but I don't, I don't have that. So he just sort of, uh, telepathically, like, Breakfast, bad stuff. Corinna, possess my ghost. Uh, hold on just a sec. Yeah, Warren okay, will come back in and just kind of lay now hogtied Corinna on the one of the couches, I guess. How much time do we have until the game? Takes a long time for the theory to remove that piety, so just. All right, as you are bringing uh, Corinna back, uh, she does start to seize up and try to, like, go limp like a sack of potatoes, tries to headbutt you in the jaw, um, tries to claw at your eyes, like, the whole deal. Mm -hmm. um, at, one point, at one point, uh, Atticus uh, gets really upset at what is going on and kind of lunges for her. She twists uh, in your arms, and the two of you conk heads, uh, and she is knocked out. Well, Eticist, don't do that. And then, uh, yeah, we're in also, a... good boy. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, lay her down some. Yeah, she's KO'd. Tie up, right? Is that what you said? 
Yep, hog died. I mean, with all of our research about ghosts, what did, what was the what did we learn about like if you do get possessed? How do you how do you how do you not? Did we learn anything about that? Yeah, you guessed it uh, quite a bit, and you realize that you did have to essentially kill the person that was possessed, uh, which would be drop them to dying status, and then that would force the ghost out of the body. I don't know if you want to do that, Corinna. But is it something we can solve now, or should we just? All right, her in, we, somebody we need her put for her in the for the, uh, I mean, Am she is our Amazon's teammate. Amazon's approach. Uh, Amazon guards that work for the Queen, and they uh, they say uh, they have Alpus with them, and they say. Uh, uh, we have come to tell you that the queen has already left very early for um, the great games. But if you need anything, we can help you, uh, Entronicos. I I appreciate the idea, but I, I don't think that this in particular is something you'd be able to assist with. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, Corinna. It's a new new training regimen. Mmm, this girl has been training too hard. Yes. Almost as hard as an Norwegian. Ugh, Warren Spit. <laughs> I fear that perhaps she has overworked herself. I am no doctor, but I don't know if she should compete in the games today. Not Is that she's possible? already unconscious this early. Is it possible to have substitutes uh, this, like, this late in the game? Oof. I mean, the Scorpion Island team got a substitute. I feel like we could probably get away with it. Yeah, I'm sure if you could find someone at this uh, late hour. Oh. But you only have a few hours until your event. Oh, shit. Oh, Anything. shit. You know who we have to ask? <laughs> Lisa. Fucking Telemachus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lisa is, like, just kind of looking at yeah, you, waiting for like, it. Yeah, Lisa is, like, getting ready to, like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, walking she's like towards Lisa. She's, like, cracking, yeah, she's, like, cracking her neck left and right. She's, like, getting fucking ready for this shit. And then you and say then, Telemachus. And then Andronicos <laughs> says Telemachus. Yeah. Oh All people, Andronicos is the one that says yeah, Telemachus. Yeah, she just turns her side eyes you so fucking hard, Andronicos. <laughs> hmm, yeah, Andronicus. And she goes, Telemachus. yes, why not? I'll go find him for you. And she like storms Helise, after Helise, her. no, no, we can't uh, come back. I was just thinking that she was more suited to the spiritual coach role, but we already have one. Julian walks in with uh, on his fifth bowl of wine, and he says, uh, uh, Julian, damn. "What is going on with everyone this morning? This is ridiculous. Corinne is already out cold. You got Orin dragging everyone around. I think I saw Lutheria, but I'm not sure." I've, it's the grapes. Have you seen them, Julian? Get your head in the game, everyone. All right, Julian. We'll, we'll do that. Now, I'll meet you at the arena. I'm going to go get my bets settled. Did he privately insight check? Before I leave. See. Before I leave. Do any of you plan to throw the match today? Because it's going to be real rough out there. I do not. Uh, no, I, I don't think any of us plan on throwing the match. It's going to be really hard to bet on this because, I mean, I... No offense, chaps, but I, I don't know if we're really going to be able to pull this off against the champions of Praxis. Uh, so, should I just bet on Praxis? Or... I mean, you, can bet on, you can bet on Team A. Hmm. Well, you're down a member now, so... I gesture to my fishness. Uh, hold on. I'll check the message that was sent. Um... I would definitely bet on Champions of Themis or Stormlords and 60 on my team, unless my team has to face the Stormlords. <laughs> oh, In which wow. case, you, I you, won't you, bet. Wow. You thought it, <laughs> <laughs> you thought it through, dude. Yeah, Julian says, uh, it's a lot to think about. I'll beat you there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, I'm putting a... Uh, I'll go put my bet. I'm going to message you my bets for today. Okay. So, uh, seriously, who should who should we who should we fill our slot with? Uh, I I mean, we I can step in and then Halise uh, uh, can be our Mystic Coach. Yeah, because you can still cast spells. Yeah. As a player, just as long as they're not targeting a, a boat. Yeah. A boat. So yeah, yeah, 
well, that because I was thinking it was I was stuck thinking about the last event where you can do that. Yeah. But so yeah, that would I think that would be good. Surprise, Elise! It was all an elaborate ruse. She comes back with Telemach. <laughs> no, Elise, come back. All right, I'm giving um, you my, my uh, cloud car keys. So do we need Telemachus to watch Corinna? Warren's going to hand over... Uh, you have the Amazons do it. Oh, he's here. Oh, my friends! Hey! Yay! I was getting ready to head to the uh, the arena, and then I ran into Halise. Would you believe it? And she told me you needed my help. That no one could help you better than Telemachus! So here I am. What can I do for you? So Julian's been going on about these grapes. They're not peeled. Oh, <laughs> could you could you take care of that for us? That is a travesty. But breakfast is over, my friend. We must head to the arena, or you'll be late. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I guess we don't need you then. Uh, we're really honored that that you, you called on me just for grapes. We may have uh, changed I mean, our mind. There's there's only person who can trust we can uh, trust with grapes. Isn't that great? Hmm. All right. Well, goodbye. Well, tell Marcus, actually, tell him. Oh? We want to know if ha if you had any information on the Stormlord, on the the Stormlord team. Oh, do I ever? What would you like to know? How good are they at at, at uh um um ship Red. ship combat? Oh, each one of them is trained in the use of yeah. naval ships and strategy. How, oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Do you know if, if they've had any, uh, any, uh, I guess, weaknesses? Personality weaknesses, at least? Personality weaknesses are they are very proud. Okay. That's good to know. Mm hmm. And one of them, Hergaron, is the son of Sidon and Luciria, and is a powerful wizard. A wizard, you say? Hmm. Hmm. It is said he is more powerful even than the master of the Academy of Mitros. Sibo, I got an idea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What if what if what if you were to suggest that wizard to cast a spell at a boat? What if it's our boat or your boat? I mean, either one. That would be them what casting the a spell on a. That would be yeah. them casting a spell on a boat. What if the spell he casts is, you know, like disintegrate? In large. How, well, I mean, you can suggest what spell you think he can cast. Well, if he doesn't have that spell, it's a wasted suggestion, right? But if he does have that spell, that's that's a instant disqualification. You, you could suggest that he casts a friendly spell upon it, like, a, yeah, like an can, aid spell. Like maybe he can cast mend on his boat. Mending takes a minute to cast. Okay. That's even better, right? Takes him a yeah, minute. That's even to better. <laughs> yeah. Well, Telemachus, thank you. That, that's great information. We always count on you, Telemachus. Tell me, are you betting today, Telemachus? Oh, uh, it would be. Yes, I am. But just, because. Out of curiosity, who are you betting on? Well, it would be rude of me to say, since I have so many friends who are participating in this event. But so it's Storm Lords, then. I mean, to be fair, I am actually, uh, I am actually wagering on you because uh, it is not very good returns on the Storm Lords. And um, you technically have a prophecy that says that you are destined for greatness. <laughs> greatness, great games, I see. I did not think of it that way, but sure. Uh, it just seems like things always seem to work out for you. Sometimes messy, sometimes sad. But in the end, it always seems to work out. I'm, I'm genuinely glad that that we saved you, Telemachus. Oh, you're of course a, you are. Of, you're a breath of fresh air. Now, if you really want to make some money, 
what we need to do is make sure that you are up against the heroes or the people's the people's heroes because they are doing terrible the the odds are so skewed for them if we get you against them and you throw the match oh we could retire as drachmaners that would probably be against some sort of rules good thing well, i mean as long as it doesn't count as banditry i think we're all doing okay Something to think about. That's why color right. manager. Uh, do you need anything else for me, or I will? Uh, I will head out. Is 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 Helise still with you? Oh, Helise, uh, she stormed out of the palace after she ran into me. All right, nice. yeah, help us after Helise. <laughs> she said something about seeing if uh, Song and Sting still needed a new team member. No. Why is everything all right? Is is Corinna not able to compete today? No, we do want her to compete, but I guess there might have been a misunderstanding. You know how that happens sometimes. Uh, look, no, uh, no, I found this I found this healing potion that Anjarnikos had dropped. Uh, perhaps we can give it to her. Do I need to mark my healing potion? <laughs> <laughs> I, it appears you did drop one while, uh, between the time Crazy. you received it and now, yeah. She's, uh, she's got a bad case of the ghosts. She oh, needs to... well, you need to hold on to this friend. Be more careful. Right. So clumsy. My, my, if you aren't able to find Elise, I think the A team might need a third member. Uh, Telemachus. Oh, do you need me? If if uh, well well we're, we're gonna ask, his eyebrows we're gonna, at we're gonna ask uh, uh, Elise <coughs> Telemachus if she can't. If we if... cannot find Elise in time, Elise Elise would become. Our, our spiritual coach, and, and Maya would join the team. Uh, but if we cannot find her, we would like to ask you to become our third team member. Oh, oh wow. That would be such an honor. Uh, I would love that. Uh, looking at Excellent. Google. Let's all try very hard to find Elise. I mean, would have been maybe I could ask uh, Wakalia as well. <laughs> She's on her own team. She's she's on the the the, the champions of Metros. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, she is on champions of Metros. Yeah. Yeah. With uh, what's his name? Uh, Blazing Ben and um, son son of Pythor. Yeah, son of Pythor. Yeah. Callister. 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 I'm gonna turn to this Amazon Amazonian and uh, say, please. Uh, <laughs> Do you want me on their team? No, no, no. Oh. He's gonna like trying to gesture to Corinna. It's like, can you take her to somewhere where she can rest for back to her chambers? Ah, oh. uh, uh, and uh, when you do that, can you make sure? Can you take her? It's back to her chambers and nowhere near the uh, king side of the palace. She says, "Wait, is this woman a danger?" No, she just needs rest. Just yeah. post oh, up. A what if she days. wakes up and wants to go to you? Just. Orin, I don't see any reason why we should keep this. I mean, she's still hogtied. Yeah, she's not yeah, let, yeah, yeah. Let's let them know. Oh wait, you're tying her up too. Well, she is. <laughs> oh, Orin yeah, yeah, yeah. Orin oh earlier. Jesus Christ! Oh, that changes a lot. Oh, okay. It's very active. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, seeing her tied up, uh, yeah, this Amazon and the others that are assembled because there's quite a few. You know, not quite a few, but there's like three others. Uh, they're all like putting it together. Oh, she, she is a danger. Do you need her under house arrest? I think for now it'd be a good idea. So no weapons. Keep her away from the king. She's a danger to the king. No, don't Whoa. say that. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I look. Uh, I'd rather guess would know not to say that. You know, you wouldn't be like, yeah, this person's staying in the palace. It's like, yeah, in the White House or something. It's like, yeah, this person could blow up at any time and kill the president. You wouldn't say that. But, but they're yeah, not a danger. But they're not a danger. Happens, well, if it happens, it'd be like, oh, uh, if I'd have known to keep her away from the king. Well, it's more uh, like when you say that. that. When you say that, the, the part about the king, they oh, will, th they're definitely going to keep her locked up. Like that's the yeah. plan. Yeah. yeah, we don't want to go to the dungeon. It is. It is not the wrong. It was not the wrong move. It's not the wrong move. But yeah, they will. They will take her away and and, and lock her up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bring her some food too. Uh, how, well, before they uh, take her away, I'll say uh, to unconscious Corinna and say, if you're still in there, Corinna, we'll get you out of there. Just hold on. 
Okay. Uh, you hear her murmur. Uh, about that. Uh, and then she kind of like passes out again. All right. Telemachus like slinks up to uh, to you, Andronicos, and says, uh, "My friend, when we first met on the battlefield, I knew this day would come. Let us go seek glory in the eyes of the gods and the people together." When we when we first met on the battlefield, you thought someday I'll ask I'll be asked to be the third member of their team in the great games when one of their other members is. Not able to compete. Is he arrested for plotting against the king? Yes, I thought of all of these things. I have very <laughs> creative. I have a very creative mind. Uh, do you happen to know if maybe like Versi is your mother or something? Oof, I, I, I'm not sure. Um, probably not. Seems you've got quite the gift for prophecy, and I'll start steering him towards the uh, the exit. All right, all right. See, so you guys roll out then. Any other business? Uh, we are still attempting to find Halisa. <laughs> but yes, on our way to the to the arena. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. All right. You guys heading over to the arena. Let me get that booted up. No, I closed the Coliseum music. So it was a couple uh, hours until the fight from breakfast, until the. Uh, well, at this point, probably probably an hour tops, because you right. guys spent a lot of time like dealing with all this. Stuff. Short rest, all right. Get my action suit. Nice. I'll carry you on the way so you can rest. Thank you, Sibo. Oh, really in seven, the seventh bowl, really? Come on. <laughs> this is your team. <laughs> if you want to put yourself at disadvantage, go ahead. All right, let's see. <clears throat> oh, you can't Push. make this elemental any bigger. <laughs> That's why I was trying to give you guys Telemach. <laughs> Turns out Telemach is like plus 10 to every stat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Telemach right, is yeah, yeah. actually like Mitro's reborn. Or oh my god. Uh, auto wins. <laughs> That aura up on the the balcony. That's oh, yeah. That's um. Both the titans have constant auras around them. Mm. Uh, let's see. Lutheria's makes you feel intoxicated, but also like you are sort of suffocating. And then Sidon's is just charged with ozone, essentially. All right. Let me get you over to the maelstrom. Um, if possible, while we're here, I want to try to send Elpis up to talk to Valis and Warner about Esther. But I don't know if he'd be. I don't know if that'd be allowed. I feel like he would be shot down by guards before he got there. And Where so are you trying to go? If I try to send Elpis up to, to say something to Valens. Oh, yeah. I mean, any critters that are trying to come up to the most powerful and important people in the in the world would probably get yeah. shot. Yeah. Uh, we won't do that then. Okay. All right. And then I got to grab the competitors and load them in real quick. So I don't want to use vehicles on this just because... <sighs> They, it makes it hard for you to move around the boat because um, it keeps snapping you back into position. Uh, and then also, if it doesn't work, when it breaks, it breaks so hard. Oh, well, we could just not attach ourselves to the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just tell me where you want the boats to go. I'll move the boats, and then we'll move the actors, and it, it'll all be good. But I'm just letting you know that that's why we're not going to be using vehicles for this one. Or, or not vehicles, but why we're not using token attacher to set up the permanent snapping to the vehicles. All right, and then we got these guys right here. Oof, what a strong team. 
What a strong team. And in a pretty tough event to fight them in, too. This will be very exciting. Oh, God. All right. Yorgos, strong start to that last one. Good, good luck out there. You too, Costas. Fortuna, do better. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Um, all right, uh, winners of the last event, which would be the A team. Do you want the ship, the Elusive Fall, the Crimson Shark? The Seas Gold or the Minnow? Either the Crimson Shark or you let us rename one to the Most Shark, which was the best ship name in Skull and Shackles ever. I meant to say the Most Shark, not the Crimson Shark. Oh, I think we should take that one. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. So this team will be on there. Maya, you'll be in your cloud car. Okay. Um. All right. S team, do you is want Elise the with us? No, Lise joined the. Uh, okay, the so we didn't catch up to her. So we yeah. weren't able to catch up to her and convince no, her. No, she she joined the uh, um, my friend Scorpion Island team. No, Televagus climbs aboard the boat. He's like, ooh, very rickety. It's, it's, wow. it's real good. It's real good for them because she's their mystic coach, and they um uh, their their druid <laughs> is now an active competitor. Televagus so over here like, yeah. oh. Never have seen a boat before. Wow. <laughs> so, S team, do you I... want the elusive fall, the minnow, or the seas gold? I heard the seas mm. bow. I don't the know. Seas the, bow, is that what I heard? <laughs> <laughs> the seas bow. Oh, it's meant to be. Then yeah, let's go there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on. I meant to say the seas bow. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, obviously, Praxis, they're too cool to be on a boat named the minnow. So they're gonna be on the elusive fall, and then the undead are cool in are, are cooler than that. So they know that cool kids are never embarrassed by anything. So they hop on that fucking minnow like it's nothing. Oh yeah, yeah. Remember, Carson, right. it's not the. Sun. It's weird to be rooting for an undead team over a, a not undead team. But... Yeah, let me let me get their uh, their Mr. Coach is gonna be Prissy Ghost. All right. And let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Storm. Storm Herald, yeah. All right. And these guys will have a fucking Storm Herald. Nice. Okay. Damn, good luck, guys. All right. Um, Let me bring you over to the map. <laughs> uh, activate. I imagine the betting odds going, like, uh, way, <laughs> way steeper because they see, oh, that's the one who... With Pythor took down <laughs> the Lady of Coin. Quickly readjust their wages. Wager. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Let me see if he's uh... like a big shot. He's like the Justin Bieber of Thylea. <laughs> Let me see if that changes things. I gotta be careful rolling my chair around. I don't want to run run over a cattail or something. Ooh. Yeah, uh, I know how that is. All yeah. right. Um. Okay, I got uh, a relatively low number, so I'm going to say that a lot of them are like, eh, Telemachus versus last blooded dragon lord, essentially survived the fight against Esther Archelander, helped recover the Ultros. They're kind of on the same page, so they, they actually don't change the uh, the wager zone. But, um, all right, so you guys are here. Let's uh, put these mystic coaches up in their cloud cars. Starting at a 20 foot elevation. All right. Okay. Uh, you may orient your boat in whatever direction you want. You may have noticed that there is a giant maelstrom in the center of the map. Uh, there is a blue line around that. If any part of your boat goes over that line, your boat will start to get sucked towards the center um, while it is inside the maelstrom. Um, it will take damage. Is that actual, any part of actual... the boat? Yeah, is that is that the, the boat sprite or the boat like rectangle? The uh, the artwork for the boat. So okay. if any okay. part of the artwork for the boat is over that line, you will be subject to a whirlpool effect. 
Can we ride the edge of the whirlpool to gain speed to hit somebody else hard? Absolutely. If you oh enter the world, yep. If you enter the whirlpool and then exit again, you will uh, gain that benefit. Holy yes. shit! I feel like we need some initial D music. <laughs> What's that? I'm trying to find the one that has the whirlpool information. Let's see. Um, uh, where did I get the whirlpool? Whirlpool rank. Okay, well, I definitely want to keep this table handy. Okay, but let's see. Oh, I think it was this is where the whirlpool information was last time around. All right. Mm -mm. There we go. All right, I got my whirlpool information. Um, so basically, when the whirlpool is going, um, let's see. You will be pulled 10, 10 feet towards the center um, each each time it affects you, and uh, creatures must attempt uh, DC fourteen athletics check to get away. Um, ships must be actively piloted out while you are inside you are treated as being in difficult terrain um any failure will cause 2d8 damage to uh you as a creature or um or your boat so just keep that in mind um hmm. why is this not opening ah it's so frustrating uh, let's see. Unlock. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, go ahead. As a team member, but he's not here. Is that correct? Is what? So Elpis, if we had him, he would count like as one of our three. So he's not here. Uh, no, you could you could bring him. I'm just saying, if there was okay. an event that counted the death of a teammate against you, and you're familiar was killed, it would count uh, against you. Okay. Yeah, but the the Amazons all have familiars, so you know it's whatevs. Whatever not this one. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, here you go. I got I got the full I got the full text for it. Um, is, all right, you take two D eight damage. And you're caught in the vortex. Um, if you're successful, you take half the damage and you aren't caught in the vortex. Um, once you're caught in the vortex, any attempts to get out of the vortex are made at disadvantage. So failing that first one real bad because then it's like diminishing, you know, diminishing returns after that. Um, and then once you are caught, uh, you automatically take the 2d8 bludgeoning damage. Um, at the start of every turn that you're inside the vortex. Okay. So that's a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, I guess, let's see, most shark, uh, left click uh, where you want to aim your boat to start. All right, Jonica, what's up? That's you. Um, so, I should actually just director, give you, oh, you know what? I'll just give you ownership over it and then you could do it. There you go. Oh boy. Uh, as a team at breakfast, did we decide that we wanted to like team up against one of the other groups? Yeah, or? I mean, yeah, all right. I mean, do you all want, do you all want ownership over this or just uh, one of you from the team? It makes um, it harder to select your mini. I guess for you, Andronicos, you're on a team entirely of NPCs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that makes that easy. Teams, you know, at least not be openly hostile. Yeah. Like, so... you know, like charging across the whirlpool to blast us, probably. You know, All right, and if... then the seas bow. Um, who who on your team wants to be able to control and access the ship? I feel like it has to be Seabo with that name. <laughs> sure. Okay. Captain. Oren, do you want in on this action too, or no? Yeah, I'll. I'll, All yeah, right. I'll take some. You you are both owners of the sea bow. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, so, do we want to do we want to go after the undead team first, or the 
Storm the undead team does not seem to be heading. To, well, actually, you were very yeah, rude yeah. to mommy. Yeah, they're gonna go after you. Okay. Hell yeah. All right, and you know what? Sensing an opportunity, the elusive fall is gonna go after uh, you guys also. Because somebody once said, and I have this post-it note on my wall so that we never forget, my penis is so small. Do you feel it? Uh, so, for whatever reason, the people that are working for Sidon don't like uh, Julian very much, so they will be going after him. Can I switch places with Telemachus? Have we decided that that was not happening before this time? I'm out. I'm out. You both are swimming through them. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that the Seas Bow is going to have a rough time of it, if we're yeah, being honest. Yeah. All right. Now, oh, the, I... the ships themselves um, need to have initiative as well. Well, I think just so that I know what they do if they're unmanned. So, yeah. well, do we right. want to do it like independent ver mount versus controlled mount? It is not so much a mount; it is a vehicle. So it has to have input from people to do anything. I just uh, meant for I just meant for initiative wise. Oh, oh, oh. Um, no, the only reason... I'm going to skip it otherwise, but the only reason I want the initiative is if a boat is abandoned, then it will start okay. acting on okay. its own initiative. Yep. Uh, so you guys go ahead and you guys face the, your boat and then I'll, I'll face the uh, the most shark. Uh, I think we're going to go try and get the Storm Lords. Might as well, right? Yeah. Um, strongest one. At the very least, I'd rather have the undeads do better than the Sidon one. Yeah, just because it'll piss... even though the undead really is yeah. just a Lutheria team. Yeah, because it'll piss yeah, Sidon yeah. off way more than Lutheria. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I think she's just here to hang out. Sidon, he, you know, you know that motherfucker wants to win. Uh, so oh. how do I how do I steer a, a token like that? Um, when you are mount when you click it, and you get the little orange frame. Um, if you hold down control and then middle mouse wheel. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and the direction the maelstrom is going is as shown in the animation. So it is going clockwise. In case you are planning to use it to slingshot yourself. <laughs> See, it's your, the boat's your namesake. I feel like you should be Captain Morganing up here. <laughs> <laughs> um... Is the the balcony is it high enough up to where I can sail underneath it, or will I have to just do that? Do that there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sail underneath the balcony. Yep, the balcony is high okay. up. If I wasn't a total hack, I would have like hacked this map to be like um, the balcony is like a, a roof layer, and I would have turned on a roof tool and all that kind of stuff. Okay. But if you want that shit, you got to play in one of Dom's games, I guess. It yeah, sounds so. like way more. <laughs> yeah, 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 it sounds like a lot of work. Uh, and last. Probably for the moment, question. Uh, is this specifically the hull of the boat that has to be over the blue line, or would like oars over the blue line or sail over the blue line count all? That is a great question. Let's just say the uh, the hull itself has to be okay. over. Okay. okay. All of the oars that you see, they're just like decoration. There's only a, there's only like three sets of oars that are real. Like the other ones are all oh, because remember this is a spectacle. They're they're simulating a naval battle, you know, but you're basically in shitty little jolly boats. Awesome. Yeah. If I try to fold it up, does it fold no. No. <laughs> Alright, looks like everybody's ready for action. Sebo, uh you want initiative. Let me double check real quick to see if there is Oh, I forgot to roll, but I only rolled a four, so. Anything else I need to know about this going into I, it? I want to point we out did that get one, We did get one complication. From a complication from already? <laughs> from oh, man. Oh, of course from it's Gorgos. fucking Georgos. God damn. All right, hold on. Let's see. I hope we shift out of the out of the water. Yeah, yeah. Crap. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> They just wreck themselves on the on the wall before anything even fucking starts. Your guys goes flying into the whirlpool. All right, all right. It's times five, right? It's only fifteen feet. All right, here we go. Immediate at the start, Gorgos it falls over. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, why won't it roll? Oh my god, did it roll a bunch? Oh, I guess yeah. it did. The five. Whoops. Uh. One was five. Okay, that's barely worth registering, but yeah. I guess I can. 
Uh, let's do a D8. I mean, it could change things. Not as much as 15 feet. All right, one. So everybody goes north. Uh, five it's feet. Just, it's just you. Oh, it's just him. Yeah, it's just. Oh, him. okay, okay. Then let me grab. Oh, just him. <laughs> Does he fall off the boat? Question mark. That's what I'm wondering. Uh, let's see. I'll have him do a dexterity save. Hold on. <laughs> his actually his dexterity is pretty good. So oh. there we go. I spoke too soon. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. I will say that he'll start prone, like hanging off the back of the boat, but he didn't like feel <laughs> so ba so bad that he's just like, uh, floundering in the water. Oh, but, boy. All right. OK, um, let's see. Is there any cool music that I'm supposed to play here? Music. What's this that? Uh, like the time when you should use Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. And Maelstrom. Yeah, the one fight when they fight like Davy Jones. Uh, that one's pretty. It's pretty good, but we're, we're just gonna go with, we're gonna just go with this. Oh yeah, uh, DMC. Ooh, nice. We're gonna go with this one for now. Save that for when it gets spicy. All two, right. two rounds in when we sink. <laughs> okay. I'm very confident. I like it. <laughs> All right. Um, Sebo, like start things off for us. I will begin um, lighting javelins on fire. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. Um, Sebo, grab my cloak. So, for this, do you have proficiency in tinkering tools? Um, I do not. I do you have proficiency in alchemy tools? Let's do a double, double check. No. Do you Gaming. have proficiency in woodworking tools? No. Let's see, but wait for Julian. <laughs> I will ready in action to begin doing that after Julian goes. Okay, so you're going to aid Julian while he tries to do it? No, Julian's going to... It was a strategy. Julian's going to twin spell uh, Owl's Wisdom. To give us advantage on wisdom uh, check. No. Oh, okay, okay. Assuming oh, that uh, assuming it's wisdom. Sailing and stuff. Okay. Yeah, and I assume making stuff would be wisdom. I mean, I feel like or it'd be intel right. intelligence, like your uh, or dexterity, but I don't know how it would be oh, wi shit. wisdom. All right, you got yeah. it. See, what'll be fine. <laughs> you got it. I believe in you. They don't need to be pretty, just functional. Yeah, no, yeah, now, now right, steering so. steering the boat is wisdom. Okay, steering yeah, the boat yeah, is yeah. Wisdom. That'd be fine. Okay. All, right. All right. So he's he's gonna give it to both of you. Yeah. Yeah. But... All right. So, in that case, um, if you were just trying to quickly put this together and have it be put together well, we're just going to go with a sleight of hand. Now you got it, Seba. There it goes. All right. The DC is a fourteen. Oh, no problem. No problem. Hell All right. yeah. Um, give me a D three. <laughs> All right, you got one of them ready. It is a um, item interaction to light it. Nice, nice. All right, All right. well done. Nice. All right, All right. So, so one of them is ready to be turned into a fl flaming thing. It will deal an extra 1d6 fire damage. And if you... These things have no magical protection. They have been built to be destroyed. So if you do hit the boat with it, um, it will set the boat on fire as yeah. if like it was a flaming oil. Nice. All right, that's All what right. we're going for. Yep, and I'll pass to Julian. Okay. All right. Yeah, Julian just twin cast Owl's Wisdom. All right, all right. Let's see. You uh, can either twin spell it or upcast it to get two people. I'm not sure which would be better for a sorcerer. Uh, I'd probably let's see. Twin, I'd probably twin spell it. Yeah, it's you're probably going to forget to use his sorcery points later. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, true. All right. How many t points is it? I've never played a sorcerer before. It's level uh, two, so it'd be an additional two sorcery points to twin cast. Shit, where's he? He's got so much resources. Okay, yeah, I got that's it. why I didn't want to see his she. He's a sorcerer. All right. Uh, all right. You guys both have Owl's Wisdom. So Sibo yeah. went, and then you passed to uh, your boy Julian, and he went, and of course Julian will pass to Orin. All right. Um, no oh, uh, did you want Sophia to do anything on your turn, Siba? Um, I mean, unless you can like help me with my initial thing. No, I don't. I don't think anything this initial round. Uh, okay. She needs to be helping me with well, is she just chilling in the boat, or is she flying? Oh, uh, yes, I think she's back here. Um, I can't see she's on the, but she's in the boat. You can't see her? Uh, no, the boat's on top of it. I know where she's at. I just need to. Oh, uh, remember to the cycle thing. tokens you control. Just mouse over them and hit Z. Got it. Ah, yeah, okay, no, she's mm -hmm. fine where she is. Yeah, back here. Okay. All right, uh, Orin, to you. 
All right, so now with advantage on wisdom, I think we're going to try and shore up the AC with a defensive maneuver. Don't have okay. proficiency in water vehicles. I do have land oh. vehicles, but uh, I mean, <laughs> you get like a numerical bonus, maybe? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's gonna be rough. Uh, all right. Uh, all right, let's wisdom see. check. Big money, drag, big money, big I'll money. drag the Maelstrom instructions yeah. out onto the page real quick. We got a 16, which will be a... I mean, unless we got like a, you know, like a plus two from having land vehicles proficiency. Maybe. Uh, def <laughs> definitely not, definitely not. I mean, they're uh, both... All right, yeah, we got a plus three AC then. Okay. Um, you should be able to see, if you have journal things turned on, the Maelstrom button. And you can click that to access the rules. Perfect. Okay. And if you are untrained, um, the skill that you are doing is uh, piloting for ramming speed is strength or dex, but normal piloting of a vehicle is normally wisdom, but these yeah. are basically just small rowboats, so you could also use uh, strength, um, I would say. So you could do strength or wisdom. Oh, shit. For, okay. for just the piloting itself of it. Shit. Okay, so ramming and piloting. Well, right. ramming ramming uses strength or dex because you're trying to aim the ship gotcha. to hit the other ship. Yep. All right, and then uh, shoring up defenses is strength or wisdom. Um, yes, shoring up defenses is strength or wisdom. All right, well, either way, even if it was a strength, it'd still just be a plus two. So. Okay. It feels like if strength applies to more of them, we should have had them. We should have them twin cast. Uh, All right, game. you want to do strength instead? That's fine. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay. Cause I think strength will apply more to it. All right, yeah. twin cast strength. Actually, wait, shit. <laughs> What's your strength? It's probably really low, right? Evo strength is really low. No. It's, okay. No, no. Go back. Go back. Al's wisdom. All right. That's it. That's all we got. That's all we got. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. You're, we, you're locking it in. Yeah. Locking right. it in. Locking it in. We we shored the AC up from 14 to 17, bracing sure, for sure. impact, and we are good. That's our team. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> who do you pass to? We give it to Andronicus. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I got to figure out. We got to come to grips with our newfound. All right. Andronicus group. to you. Uh, so piloting is like just making it move. It's an action. Yes. Um, yep. Yep. Making the ship move 30 feet is an action. The ship will move in the direction that it's facing. I am remiss because I don't actually have the directions here on how to turn your boat. Uh, turning your boat would also be an action. My, my bad. I was supposed to add that in. Uh, hold on. So turnboat uses the same shit that um, bah, 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 that the piloting to speed up would use, but you could turn the boat up to 180 degrees. Uh, um, all right, I am going to tell Telemachus and Tykin to get up towards the front of the boat, and then as my action, I'm going to cast fog. Actually, let me see exactly how that works. Oh man, I feel like we're... Centered on a point. Okay, so if I cast <laughs> Fog Cloud and the point was the back of my boat, does that count as spelling the boat? Any magic at well, all. It's not... <laughs> But it's not doing anything to the. If, boat. if the magic affects the boat, any boat, it's it, you're disqualified. You could throw a Happy. sock down on the boat and then cast it on that. <laughs> what? What do you try to do with? If I thing? if I fog clouded the, the back tip of my boat. Oh, fog cloud doesn't affect the boat. Fog cloud affects vision. Boats don't have eyes. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I want to I want to fog cloud the back tip of my boat so that I okay. have like a shield on on my boat's butt okay it's more than likely if you don't want to be accused of affecting the boat it's gonna have to affect the water beneath the boat so you're affecting that location I'm on the gonna, map I'll tell, i'm gonna i'm gonna have elpis stand right there and i'll cast it on elpis i don't think that's a target that you could do for fog cloud bro that's true it says a point yeah 
All right, I I will not do that. Then I will just okay. move forward. All right, all right. And I mean, you are totally allowed to drop a fog cloud down here on the ground, and we'll throw it down there. I don't get extra movement. It, like it's just it's just action. Move thirty feet. Yep. Okay. So move the boat. I would do that. Now, if you were not proficient, you'd have to actually check to see if you could even move the boat because you wouldn't have an auto success. But since what you have kind of, what kind yeah. of person chooses to pilot the boat and then isn't proficient, right? <laughs> Some wow. people, I guess. Good luck with Telemachus over there. Oh, Tycon is like apologizing. He was out like really late partying. He hasn't even like restored his hit points from yesterday. He's just he's a fucking mess today. <laughs> <laughs> Chose not to take a long rest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, who do you pass to, Adrakos? Uh, I will. Well, okay, uh, Elpis will take the help action to help Telemachus, I guess. Okay. I don't know what Telemachus plans on doing. but uh, right. Telemachus says, what do you want me to do, Captain? I am a good teammate. I understand that you understand how this boat works, and therefore I will do whatever you need me to do. That's, that's actually really, that's really valuable, but there's not really anything for you to do right now. What's the long range of a javelin? A javelin? Uh, let's see. It's 2060, I think. Uh, it looks like 120 feet. Sir, oh, Captain, oh, sir. Is it, is it a 6120 weapon? It's a 3120. <laughs> no, it's 30, a 3120, yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> shit. I guess... Ready, ready in action to attack if a boat comes that close to us. Uh, you, you want me to ready in action to throw a javelin? Is that what you'd like me to do? Yes, but only <laughs> if a boat comes within. Only within but 30 feet? 120, actually, if it's 120 and Elpis gave him help action, then he well, could. Well, help action to attack a target, Elpis has to harry the target. So uh, Elpis would have, right. yeah, yeah. But yeah, he'll throw it at the boat if you want. <laughs> we'll have, we'll have fucking ten of these shits. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> just let him just, steer. Uh, just let him steer. Dude, go. I don't want to. <laughs> what happens if you fail a move? <laughs> fail Look, looks like you shouldn't have pissed off. You don't. You that, don't huh? go anywhere. That's all. Yeah, he just doesn't move. What if it's a really bad fail? All right. Try Captain, to move what do you want us to do? I will. And he grabs the oars and he gets rid of his ready to action. And he's like, oh. Here we go. Time to prove myself. Um, and he's going to make that strength check. And technically, since it's a check, you can use athletics, of which he is not trained. Here we go. Oh, my God. Uh oh. Ah! Oh. It's the boat. is very heavy. Advantage. Because of oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He says it's very yeah. heavy. And you look, you look next to him. You see Elpis is just fucking sweat just like <laughs> pouring down <laughs> as Elpis is doing all the work <laughs> alright so the boat moves forward 30 feet uh to there alright I'm doing it I'm doing it captain look you're amazing all right. All right. <laughs> who should he pass to he wants to pass to Tycon, but he's kind of thinking he wants to save Tycon so you guys could control initiative. Yeah, that's fair. Pass to okay. pass to the undead team. I will pass to Georgos of the Underworld. All right, Georgos says, "Uh, I had a tumble. Hold on." And he's gonna try to climb back into the boat. Um, I'm gonna have Georgos roll a strength to try to get back into the boat. That sounds good. DC 14. <laughs> I'm really struggling back here, guys. Uh, and you see the two very competent undead just shake their heads sadly. <laughs> and uh, looking up in the uh, royal box, you see Lutheria like waving uh, at her team. And the two the two cool kids look at look at mom, and they both kind of give her like a thumbs up. And Georgos goes to give her a thumbs up, and then he falls under the water, and then he kind of grabs the side of the boat again. <laughs> and they let out a heavy sigh, and then Georgos, whose turn was completely ineffective, passes to Costas of the Underworld. 
Costas of the Underworld is going to... Uh, yeah, he's just going to do that there. Strength check. Let's try to get this boat moving. Uh, all right. So 30 feet would bring it to... Yeah. And that is his turn. Uh, he will pass to his teammate, Fortunus. Uh, Fortunus will try to get the boat going as well. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely works. Okay. I was debating if we should do, like, margins. You know what I mean? Like, if you failed by five or more, then the boat, like... Um, flounders in place and like turns in a random direction and if you pass by five or more you get to go like faster or some shit or you get to turn and move I, I don't know how you guys feel about that like adding yeah. shit in at the last minute yeah so. it's fine with me shit even though it's okay. good. Uh, in that case they will move and turn as part of that action so if you pass by five or more you get to move and turn if you fail by you, five or more you go in like a random direction you get, you get randomly turned yep ooh nice nice using grenade rules. Is the yeah. random turn occur before or after you move? Well, you wouldn't get to move because oh, you failed. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you would just randomly turn the boat. All right, so since uh, since Telemachus got a 20, I went ahead and turned us also then. Oh, hype. Oh, hype. Okay. okay. Uh, all right, then that brings us to... Um, they're done, so I guess they'll pass to the Praxis team. All right, so they all cashed in, and they passed to the Praxis team. Uh, so let's see. On the Praxis team, they look at your ship, and they all chuckle. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like a thing that they'll do. Um, Hergeron is going to cast a spell. And he disappears from his boat. And he appears on your guys' boat. <laughs> Shit. Uh, using Dimension Door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, and... here's another question. If yeah, you're on yeah. someone else's boat, can you interact with their boat? You can attack you their attack boat. boat, you just well, can't right, cast... Yeah, but, like, could you take the action to, like, turn their boat towards... Oh, the fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can pirate their oh. boat. That's what these people are here to see, for sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he appears, he's got a, he's got a javelin in one hand, he, uh, looks around the boat, he smiles, and that is his action economy. Uh, he is, however, a paragon creature, uh, an elite creature, so he is going to, um, yeah, he's gonna go ahead and use that action to stab your boat with his, uh, javelin. Uh, all right, let's see... Mm. Mm. There we go. <laughs> Shit. All right, so uh, twenty-four for eight. Uh, <laughs> does eight damage? Does eight damage to your boat? Yeah, he just starts fucking stabbing it down into the boat. Um, does he stab he it like will... towards me, where I can block it? <laughs> uh, he just steps straight down. Does like ah. a dimension door appears like slightly mm. above the deck, and he comes down like a downward stab into the boat. All right, he's going to turn uh, to his team and give them the nod, and then they are going to try and move their boat. All right, Gaius is going to um, use athletics check, try to advance the boat. Uh, all right. So he's going to move it forward 30 feet. And slightly turn it as he goes. All right. And very important decision here that they try to control initiative. They could just bump up against you, which would kind of prevent both of you from doing a ram because you'd already be engaged with each other. Or he could ready a ram, hope that he can get... Uh, control back to Gaius so that Gaius could ram your boat. Hmm. Tough call. Tough call. Um, but I think because uh, Telemachus is reserved Tycon to receive the initiative. Also, the um, the uh, the coaches haven't gone yet either, right? No. 
All right. You know what? He'll take the gamble. He is going to try and ready an action to uh, ram the boat. All right. And then he will pass to Maya of the Oldwood. All right. Um, hmm. Thirty feet. Let's see. Hmm. If I were to miss this step, would I leave my my uh, my flame my flying car, flying cloud? That is a great question. I will say no. The flying cloud is just a physical illusion of the uh, modified flight spell that is on you. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, it tested really well with the uh, with the audience, like having a cute little cloud car. Okay. In that case, I'll uh, uh, use my once per day misty step, once per long rest misty step, to move another thirty feet. Okay. Here, and then dash thirty feet. All right. Uh, that's everything I could do. So I'll pass to, uh, um, the undeads, uh, uh, what'd you call it? Um, um the coach. Mr. coach. Yeah. Mr. Coach. Right. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, they really want Gorgas to stop, like be, dra you know, dragging behind the boat. Uh, but they're really not sure how to get him back into the boat. Um, so, <laughs> So they're gonna they're gonna float down and try to possess him. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the best thing they can fucking do right now. Oh my goodness! All right, wait. Can you possess an undead? I mean, you're asking a lot of tough questions right now. Oh my god, you're. Oh my Jeez. goodness. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, all right, so the ghost disappears, and suddenly Gorgos looks a lot more capable. What's what's the complication? <laughs> oh, yeah, complication. <laughs> True, truly, he's the worst. Oh, my oh, God. oh no! I think I have something for this. Uh, Hold on. Uh, this is my new campaign goal to recruit Gorgos. <laughs> right. We could really use him aboard uh, the Ultros. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, he could be our new. He could be our new navigator. <laughs> True, yeah. Because Melon, what was that dude's name? Melon, Melios. All right, all right. Hearing, <laughs> seeing how bad that her team is doing, you hear uh, Lutheria uh, laughter coming from the royal box. Everyone gets real nervous, and you see tentacles burst up from the center of the maelstrom. Oh no. Is that everyone rolls a d20? Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. I'm actually going to keep this one neutral. We'll just make it anybody that, um, you know, it's going to affect everybody, essentially. Oh, boy. Uh, so in the center oh, of the God, maelstrom, geez. you see this. All right. Oh, he's really cute. Okay. <laughs> um, so, no, yeah. Not another octopus. They're going to pass to Lorius. Uh, Lorius is going to give... Let's see. He's going to float closer. Uh, there we go. And he's going to give Orin Inspiration Die. Oh, nice. Thank you. All right. And then, let's see. Looking at the tracker here, Lorius will pass to the Storm Herald. And let's see. Okay, we got that. We got Thunder's Blast. Okay. Um, so the Storm Herald is going to move up to Hia. And unfortunately, his boy is one boy left before he could do this, but he's going to bless Gaius and Yorgus. All right. Or sorry, and, and Jorgus. It's not different than Georgos. Um, all right, so bless. Good shit, good shit. Yeah, they gotta put some respect on Georgos' name. Yeah. Uh, so Georgos uh, and and Gaius, they're good to go. 
Jorgas get ready to ram you guys. Just needs Gaius to like steer you guys into him. It all comes down to who gets the initiative in the next round, I guess. Um, hmm. I guess to clean up the initiative, I'll get rid of the ships and I'll add them in if we need them. Because otherwise, it's a mess. Gonna take Sophia. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna throw out Sophia and Elpis, yeah, we'll just uh, do yeah, that. that'll clean, that'll clean things up too. We, we might want Sophia and Elpis as like the. Uh... You know, well, they they go at the same time as uh, their okay. masters, which is yeah, they they should have been removed anyways. All right. um, you want to toss Gaius out of there too? That'd be fine with that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah is he yeah. is he familiar now? I didn't know you guys were so close. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's see. Now going on is Maya has gone. Lorius is gone. Percy Ghost is gone. Storm Herald has gone. Gaius is gone. Tycon has not gone. Hergeron has gone, and Jorgus is gone. All right. So Tycon finishing up the round. All right, Tychod uh, looks to you and he says, All right, Captain, what are we doing? Uh, move us move us forward, Tychon. Uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> Athletics check. For your guys' bone, I feel okay, a picture okay. like, a, like a Star Trek type scene. Andronic is sitting <laughs> in the chair, and you've got, <laughs> you've got Maya as like, the navigator. Telemachus is the really annoying dude. And Tycon is definitely a. Uh... Oh man, I never watched Star Trek. The uh... <laughs> the the commander Wolf is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah Wolf. Yeah. I can yeah. see that. I can see that. Uh, you'll have to move it, Crash. It says I'm intersecting with walls or something. Oh, okay. All right. You guys are closing in. Close it in. All right. Uh, who do you want Tycon to pass to in the next round? Hey, uh, to... Gaius. Uh, no, okay, I'm going to pass the Orin. Oh, nice, uh, nice, nice. Boo, boo. You try to ram us. That's it, Simo. Full speed ahead. And uh... Should Gaius interrupt with a Paragon action? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Alright, Orin, what are you going to do? Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so... If I prep... Uh, let's see. If I prep ramming speed, then or then a uh, Stevo could do wisdom. Okay, I think uh, I think Orange gonna try and prep ramming speed with the uh, dexterity. All right. Okay. Dex. Oh, can I use the uh, acrobatics? Because it's a dex. Yep. Okay. Do. Come on, big money. Ah, succeeded at cost. Okay. Actually, no, wait. I got the Lorius inspiration. That okay. Might, I'd like to keep half my HP. All right. Well, the eight. Because that's what it always is. Nice. Ooh. Hell yeah. Oof. Okay. All ramming right. speed. Sebo. Let's get him before they get us. Let's pass to Sebo. All right. All right. I do that. What do I roll? Wisdom. <laughs> Just a whiz well, yeah. for you're doing a ramming maneuver. You want him to move the boat, yeah. yeah. So it would be wisdom. You do that with advantage because of Julian's buff. You need to get a 14 or higher. It looks like. Oh yeah. hell yes, Evo. Captain oh, Morgan dope. on the front of the boat. Yo, yo ho ho. I'll say you <laughs> do. Not... I'll say you do double damage on that shit. I'll say you do yes. double damage on the shit. All right, nice. here is your uh, boon. Oh, damn, you were, you were oh, a born sailor. Cool. I mean, I guess that makes sense. All right, uh, so yeah, you just head-to-head -head smash into their boat. Their boat takes 50 points of damage. And then Telemachus calls out, Sibo, you did amazing! <laughs> you have advantage on your next attack, Sibo! Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, who do you pass to? Um, I'll have... Sophia, do the help action for Julian. And pass with Julian. Okay. Yeah. When you pass to us, please pass to either Telemachus or Tycho. Understood. All right. So, so who are you passing to? Julian. Julian. Okay. Uh, All right. So you probably just about... dealing with this dude. Is there anything to like get this guy off the boat? Oh, let's see. Does he have anything to get this guy off the boat? Well, let's see. He would start with a mind sliver. 
Ooh. And then he would probably try to do... Tasha's. Oh, yeah, Tasha's. quick and spell. Then you, you yeah. lose the owl. You lose the owl thing. Oh, uh, because sure it's concentration-based, yeah. Hmm. I mean, this guy is a titan, and he does have the axe of Sander. <laughs> so... Um, Wait, well, he doesn't have know. it on him, though. Doesn't well, he doesn't have the axe. Oh, yeah, though. yeah, you wouldn't have been allowed to bring it. You're right. So, well, let's well, see... He... He's still attuned to it though, right? So would he like feel the axe? <laughs> kill him? Yeah, you could feel the axe from like it's the, in the locker stand. room. Yeah. <laughs> Do it, it's doing the tomahawk. Oh damn. <laughs> Alright, take your point of DM inspiration. Jeez. Alright. Um okay, let's see. I'm looking. I'm not trying to like badmouth anybody's spells here, but I guess he could try to charm him. That doesn't yeah. require it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and make him his friend. Yeah, that's a very Julian. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Boat, all right. Buddy. All right. So he'll st he'll start. Well, if he attacks him at all, I think it would go get rid of any. Uh, you know what? He'll go mind, for it. If you mind sliver first, then. Yeah, yeah he'll at least he'll at least have a penalty to it. Yeah. Okay, he mind slivers with his action, then he quickens spells. A. Uh, right. Is that next? That's what he usually does. All right. Because it's a great combo. Yeah, good combo. <laughs> Okay, it's some decent damage, too. All right, Hergeron is possessed of magic resistance. Uh, so he's going to make this intelligence space saved uh, with advantage. This is all good intel. Oh, in case... Oh, shit. Oh, Double 28. Uh, so he is not affected by that. Uh, and then he will make his wisdom saving throw uh, with advantage. Here we go. Trying to beat a 15. He does not. Oh, oh my god, with advantage. Alright. Nice. So he looks over at Julian, and Julian looks at him, <laughs> and he smiles, and Hergeron says, uh, Hello, my name is Hergeron. And Julian says, uh, I know. It's good to meet you, friend. Do you think you could, um, maybe stop stabbing my boat? Uh, and Hergeron says, uh, Hey, for you, sure. Uh, and he smiles real big. Nice. And Julian takes a swig of his ninth bowl of wine. <laughs> 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 All right, who does Julian pass to? Uh, was it Tycon or Telemachus? That was yeah. pretty clutch. That was yeah, pretty yeah, clutch. yeah, yeah. Sivo with the Captain Morgan, Julian in the back, uh, charming the dude. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a good fucking turn. All right. Uh, so who's he gonna pass to? Telemachus. Telemachus. Right. Telemachus! Prepare to ram! Hey, <laughs> hey, Captain! Uh, I am readying a ram action. Okay, I'm roll? done. Or, do you have to roll for that? I don't. <laughs> uh, you roll at the point of moment of impact. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Alright. Um, Telemachus. Yeah will pass to me. Okay. I will... Now, you can auto-succeed and just move straight 30 feet since you're proficient, but if you want to, you could roll to try to get higher so that you can turn the boat. I think 30 feet would hit me there. What would, would get me there. Yeah. Um. So, I will hold my action until after Elpis gives Telemachus the help action. Okay, okay. Smart, auto smart. Speed on moving forward. All right. Uh, Telemachus must make a strength or dex check, uh, or wisdom, I guess, uh, against, uh, an, the armor class of their ship, which is a 14. He's going to do an acrobatics check. Here we go. It's with advantage, though. Oh, uh, all right. So you guys sail up and you gently bump your boat against the back of their boat. <laughs> Badonk. Oh, and he says, I did it! We hit their boat! We we did! You are... <laughs> yep. Okay, Tycon has a javelin <laughs> in each hand, and he looks at you at Dronchos, and he looks at their boat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you pass to him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, he lets out a mighty roar and he runs and leaps onto their boat with a javelin in each hand. And... Oh my god. 
Let's see what he could do here. He like uh, he's going to recklessly. And let's see. Javelin for this boy. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I think he's really just going to gore attack, though. He's going to charge and gore their, their boat. Nice. Oh, uh, my God. All right, so he hits their boat for eight, but since he did a focus charge, um, uh, they take extra piercing due to his level, which would be five. So the boat takes 13 points of damage. All right. Oh, that's respectable. Yeah, and that is his turn because he does not have multi attack yet. Uh, all right. I so bet he good. will if we win the great fucking games. So, uh, who do you want him to pass to? Uh, just the... I guess he hit the ship and not the person so he to steal or anything. Right. Um, let's keep Maya back for... Like, if An we need... Initiative to... purposes? Okay. Yeah. Right. So I guess pass to the undead again? Which one? <laughs> you fucking know which one. Oh. <laughs> uh, down to Jonah Hill. All right, Georgos, now possessed, literally, of a higher a higher intellect than he had before, is going to try and pull himself back onto the ship. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Will it change anything? Oh my God, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> truly the <laughs> worst. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I'm trying my best, guys! Here I come! Alright, where's my complication? Foundry! Oh, I need it! Passing luck, one random combatant beside you may roll for a boon or gain one fortune. Alright, how we're gonna do this is we're gonna figure out which of the other boats first, and then among the boats we'll figure out which of you gets it. So, from top to bottom, it'll be one, two, three. Okay, so it's oh, the Praxis shit. boat. And oh, then yeah, amongst yeah, the like, people on Praxis, we'll go top to bottom. One, two, three. Damn. Uh, it is Gaius. Oh, I thought there was All Tycon. Right. What? Oh, no, okay. this boat, this boat. This I thought boat, you meant who yeah. was currently on it. Oh, yeah, I physically got boat. No, no, that's too complicated. I got you. Uh, gotcha. All right, all right. And then let's see. Random boon for Gaius. Uh, you're getting a hit die. Blah, 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 blah. Uh... All right, he'll take the five temp HP. All right. Which is laughable considering how much influence he has. But still. Um, all right, Georgos says, uh, I'm almost in the boat, guys. I think I can help you. Um, and he he passes to Costas. Costas eyes Georgos murderously, lets out a long sigh, and is going to attempt to pilot this fucking boat. Okay. Uh, that succeeds by five, so he's going to steer uh, a little bit dangerously close to the edge there. Um, and then he will pass to... Um, hmm. He will pass to... Guy... No, he will pass to uh, Jorgus. All right, Jorgis uh, sees that you guys messed up his boat pretty bad. Doesn't like that too much. Um, all right. He is going to stand at the edge of his boat toe-to-toe -to -toe with Orin. And he is going to reach out and try to grab Sibo. All right, so Sibo, give me an athletics or acrobatics to avoid being grappled. Oh shit! Oh, my son. Oh. Um. Okay. Yeah. So Sibo, he pick you up, and he kind of holds you over the water. And let's see. Do you worse? Uh, <laughs> it looks like he's planning to he, next. Poorly. Yeah. Next turn, he's planning to throw you into the water. Uh, but he doesn't have enough action economy to to do so. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, and then the guy just says, uh, oh, allow me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, then he'll pass the guy, uh, 
a Gaius will walk towards you and say, um, ah, it would be a coward's way to do that. Uh, and then he is going to, um, yeah, I guess he'll board. Mm, now nah, there's a, there's a, there's a Tycon right there. All right. Uh, he's got to get Tycon off of this boat. So, you know what? He sees what dude bro's doing and he's going to try to, to emulate that a little bit. Oh my God. It's like, this shit's all over the place. There we go. Um, so he's going to go up and he's going to try to pick up a fucking Tycon, I guess. There we go. No, oh, what kind of bullshit is that? What kind of bullshit is it? I guess. I got so fucking big. I know, but he's you made him he's small. Oh, no. He's All so right. Cool. All right. So he's going to try to grab him. Tycon's going to try to go. Oh, it didn't do very good. Let's see. Nice. Nice. All right. So the two of them start grappling, like, you know, wrestling uh, on the boat, basically. Uh, and let's see. He is an elite, so he does have a paragon. In order to make it easier to track paragons, uh, he'll just try again. Go. Ooh. See how it pans out. All right. He uh, ducks, puts his hand between, you know, between his legs, picks him up by the thigh and the shoulder. And he hoists Tycon up in the air, but he does not have the action economy to throw Tycon. But his intention does seem to be to throw him into the maelstrom. So, the, 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 our boat is up against the back of their boat right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and the S team's boat is against the front of their boat right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we were to take the move action... Would mm -hmm. we be able to turn their boat towards oh. facing the maelstrom? I would say absolutely yes. You would be able to do that. Oh my god, this is some physics stuff right here. Look at this. Yeah, oh, it, would def it would definitely allow that. Yep. I want to do that real bad. <laughs> okay. So Gaius is gone. Um, he is going to pass to uh, Maya. Okay. <clears throat> so Andronicos, have you gone yet? Yeah, he was part of the random. Yeah, Dronicus went. Yeah. Lorius has not gone yet. Um, Hergeron has not gone yet. And Fortunus has not gone yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so Maya, what's the plan? All right, I'm going to come up to right here. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> These poor undead. Oh. Uh, I'll go ahead and cast... Hmm. God, they have blessed so. I mean, I'll go for it. Okay. I'm gonna cast old person on Gaius. Oh shit! Okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, if I cast this up high, up higher, I can connect more people, right? I yeah. think so. Uh, upcasting, I think, is one additional. Okay, in that case, I'll upcast it to try and get um, the person holding Sibo as well. Nice. Okay. Holy. Wow, homie. Right. Uh, I hope some of them are, some of them they, the upcasting skips a level, so you might want to oh, double check. That's yeah. yeah, only like spiritual weapon and. Higher levels, uh, um, third or higher, one additional humanoid. Yep. Okay. All right. Sweet. Yep. All right. So we got to get two saves out here. Uh, let's see. This does not affect his mind or will. Um, at least, I mean, I would say it doesn't. I don't know. That's fine. Um, so we've got to make the save. Let's see. Ooh, all right. He makes the save. Uh, yep, I'm checking on. Yeah, I'm checking on Yorgus. Uh, let's see. Yorgus. Uh, he has... Doesn't look like anything that's going to help him there. So you pro I think you could get him. I think you could get him. Unless he oh, nice, him. nice. Look at, yep. All right. Uh, he also All has right. another another complication in this fight. <laughs> Critically exposed defenses. Your target 
You may reroll. So Maya, you may reroll all ones and twos on the damage roll for your next successful attack against him. Okay. All right. Um, I feel that you do qualify for that if you wanted to. So we'll we'll go with that effect. Uh, all okay. right. But he has hold person on him, so he is paralyzed. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Just bear hugging Sibo now. It's really awkward. Okay. I'm ready. It's up to Sibo to, to say how he feels about it. Oh, yeah. Maybe Sibo doesn't think it's really hugging. Maybe he likes. I, I have. It. I haven't been held like this in a long time. So. Oh. And I'll, pass, <laughs> I'll pass to the. Sibo just breaks down. <laughs> good, thing it's, good thing it's raining out. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible day for rain. <laughs> so, uh, who do you pass to, Maya? I'll pass to the... Um, hmm. Is Prissy Ghost still initiative? Uh, Prissy Ghost is currently joined with Georgos until they, until they decide not to be. Okay, so I can't pass to them then, because Georgos already went. Yeah. All right. Uh, then in that case, uh, I kind of want to save a Lorius for the end, so I'll pass to Fortunas. Okay. Uh, Fortunas grumbles and uh, continues to try and row the boat. Ooh. Man, what a oh, fucking dang. capable ass! What a capable ass! Oh my one. god! Yeah, they're both really good. And then, <laughs> then you got Georgos. <laughs> Just imagine how good their team would be if they had three <laughs> members. Oh my god. Alright, so he's just like pulled along behind them. She gets a boon from it. Uh, here we go. It's the boon of new teammate. <laughs> Switch places with a nearby ally. <gasps> yes! Alright! After she does all that, she walks <laughs> over, she fucking picks up Gyoros, and she puts him in the fucking boat. And then she hangs off the side of the boat in his place. I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> you gotta you pull like you're doing a pull up. All right, then she will pass to uh, Lorius. <laughs> oh my god! Literally. Care. All right. Okay. Uh, Lorius is going to give Julian a no, no, no. Sibo looks like he could be a potentially dangerous situation. So Sibo, he'll give you a inspiration die. All right, and then he has to pass either to the Storm Herald or to Hergeron. Um, I guess he will pass to the Storm Herald. All right, uh, let's see. Storm Herald is going to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, why not? The Storm Herald is going to Sacred Flame. Um, Maya. Ooh, cloud fight. All it's right. like some Dragon Balls. I meant to ask that earlier, too, if we could attack oh the boy. coaches. Oh, yeah, you can attack other people. There was never the rules that you couldn't no, attack I, the other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if we were allowed to attack specifically the coaches, though. Oh, yeah, it doesn't say you can't attack the coaches, so... Because that was rule the first one. I didn't know if it was going to be rule. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, you make the save as a blast of radiant energy comes down towards you. All right. Uh, then they will pass to Hergeron to end the round. Uh, Hergeron smiles real big at Julian and says, um, Well, friend, I won't attack your boat, but... Uh, and then he moves towards Orin. You mm. think Julian would do anything to try to stop him? You're approaching me? Nah, I don't know. Who's um, here? Yeah. What's he gonna do? Uh, I... Oh. I'm Hey. Yeah, uh, you got Hergeron charmed. He oh, views what? you as a friend, and he agreed not to attack your boat. But evil genie, he's definitely willing to attack your allies, who he is not charmed by. Does not view as his friend. Uh, so as he as he rushes away from you, do you try to stop him, or do you just you know just let him come? No, I, I'll I'll reach out and I'll put a hand on him and say, um. Uh, Hungeron, darling, uh, if you were to hit Oren, that might cause us to go into that big whirling bit of despair. Are you sure you want to do that to little old me? Okay, do you want to use your reaction for this? Yes. Okay, uh, give me a persuasion. After this, we'll give you a rundown of what's going on. Oh, okay. He says, uh, oh, don't worry, darling. 
If anything happens to him, I'll help keep your boat afloat. And he winks at you. Uh, or he is their their strategy is pretty simple. They're all pretty strong. Uh, he's going to try and get you up out of the boat. Um, right. Actually, what am I doing? This dude's a fucking whiz robe. Um, so from where he's standing, he's just going to cast a spell on you. Fair enough. All right. I'm so bad at playing wizards. All right. Um, <laughs> so you get, you gotta go that economy mindset. You yeah, play one yeah. Every, uh, every Wednesday. Oh, right. Wink. Uh, all right. So it's going to try to use telekinesis on you. Oh, shit. Was that like a strength save? Um, telekinesis is, in fact, a, um, it's a strength check. Oh, so you get shit. to use athletics oh, okay. for it, right? Because it's its, it's ability check. Yep. All right. Um, I assume this is magical, so I will use advantage. Uh, it's actually contested by his spellcasting ability shit. check. All right. All right. So his spellcasting yeah, ability is his intelligence. So here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oof. I think right. uh, even if I reroll, that would be pretty close. Let's see. I don't think I have anything. I think I am going to be flung here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's going to he's an anime style. He's going to pick you up with his mind and he's going to fling you into the maelstrom. <laughs> oh shit. 30 feet. Yeah, so right Can I reach there. Out for him. <laughs> At all, he goes by me. I mean, <laughs> it's so uh, bad. Be good. Oh, he's got the rope that's wrapped around his uh, his, uh, his shoulder or something. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you you have to beat a 25 uh, oh, yeah, because right. that, is be the, fine, that is the that is the speed the speed that he is moving at. And yeah, if you yeah, were to yeah. fail, you would get yeah. dragged along with him. We all have water walking and, and water and water breathing, oh, right? Water breathing. Yeah. It's like I'm on a treadmill right, right now. Uh, so you land, and instead of going sploosh, uh, you actually just kind of slam into the water. So we will treat that as thirty feet of falling damage. Right. Uh, that you are basically thrown against it. Because the intention was to pick you up and throw you into the water, take 11 points of damage as you... Oh, or sorry, 7, seven. seven points nice. of damage as you slam into the water. Um, and then... Oh, I'm not dead. Uh, <laughs> let's see. It's classic damage. But you are restrained as well. Oh, shit. Yeah. So he picks you up and he tries to dunk you, and then because of the the spell that Maya has on, or that you have on you, the water walking, as he goes to dunk you, you just slam against the surface of the water like it is solid stone. Uh, and then he kind of cocks his head curiously, uh, and you do see that he is maintaining that effect on you. Well, at least I'm not going towards the uh, kraken. <laughs> I'll I think take... he'd just move you another thirty feet on his next turn. Is the is the attention? Yeah, but, but uh, yeah, can yeah. I take uh, da I took damage because so can I steal at the start? You certainly can, and you probably want to because now that there is a creature of the maelstrom, I will activate this crake spawn. Oh, okay, fair enough, fantastic. All right, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, restrained here. I will try to uh, to fight against it. Try to break out with the acrobatics. I try to like slip free, or is it just straight up strength? Um, to break free, uh, let's see, you are restrained. On subsequent rounds, you can use your action to attempt to maintain your telekinetic grip on the creature by repeating the contest. Um, mm, I would say that you could try to escape from it, because it's similar to being restrained by anything, so... Right. Or it'll try to... Yeah, it'd be another slip. opposed check, yeah. He's flopping around, but he's it, getting, he's it getting, It would like, take your action to try to escape. Yeah, fair enough. He's, he's getting right. cheese graded, you can see the cracking coming close. Oh, you rolled to, uh, real bad. Rolled real bad. Got two. All right, try to slip out of here. Oh, she's okay. It's enough. All though. right, so you are free and walking in the water. We're definitely gonna treat a the swirling <laughs> vortex that's beneath your feet as difficult terrain. Um, to add hypeness to it, though, you could use acrobatics to surf in the direction that it is moving. So you can basically mm -hmm. like let it carry you along with you to get extra speed. Oh man, I kind of want to go after the undead boat. How long? How many? Uh, how fast could I go <laughs> around the world? Well, you'd be if moving towards them, you'd be going against it, so it would be it would definitely be difficult terrain. But if you went with it, I would say that it would double your speed. Okay. Um, okay, that guy's charmed. Sivo's in a grip. That guy's paralyzed. Uh, 
Ice is about to throw off uh, Tycon. Oh, true, true, true. I think uh, I think we'll just run. Uh, it's a difficult terrain. Fifteen feet. My move. Yeah, or he kind of slips out of it, starts rushing back towards the. He'll get uh, fifteen feet to right here, and then um. Hey, you, Oxy, couldn't you like just stand in the water and hit the boat while you're standing in the water? Um, I could. I think I kind of want to get back on the boat. I don't want to stay. Yeah. I don't want to end my. Let me do what you want to do. I, that, that was just some no, that's fair. For me. I'm gonna as Orin rushes forward though. This guy's stunned. All right, Orin's gonna point towards uh, Tycon and say, uh, "Valis, grant protection," and I uh, will use a uh, sanctuary on Tycon. Okay. And then uh, action surge and get back on the boat or get 15 feet. Do I need to use a check to get back up or just pull myself up? Uh definitely be a check. I mean. Poor Giorgos had to check. It's going to be a DC 14 uh, athletics or acrobatics to climb back in the boat. All right, I'll just uh, I'll stay put. That shit. So, I'll stay put. Yeah, save my action surge. All right, pass to. Uh, to well, it's not an action. It's just part of your movement to climb into uh, the boat. Okay, shit. Yeah. All right, try to have myself. Actually, I'll. I mean, see you still need to make the check, but the check is yeah, part yeah, yeah. of your action. Yeah, yeah. I'll rush forward, try to leap off one of these oars, and okay. uh, get back in. Oh yeah, no problem, no problem. All, All right. right, pretty that's some pretty dope shit. Sick. Mm -hmm. Oof. That telekinesis uh, that would have been would have been pretty rough. All right, uh, gonna pass to Tycon. Try and get out of that grip. What did you What did you do for your action? That was my uh, I had to, yeah to break free and then action surge to get back up here. You'd have to use an action to get up unless you dashed. Well, yeah, I did no, no, dash, no. Yeah. The, the action to get into the boat is not an action; it's part of your movement. So. Yeah. 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 Well, I had to, I had to dash to get a little bit of extra okay. movement. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's all I got. All right. Tycon. You're good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Who are you gonna pass to? Tycon's good. All right. So we're in round three. There we go. And Orin started things off. All right. And you pass into Sue. Who did you pass to? Tycon. Tycon. All right. Well, Tycon doesn't want to get thrown in there either. Uh, so he is going to try and break free of the grip that Gaius has him in. Alright. But he only got a 9. That is not great. Gaius got a 23. Um, Jesus. Yeah, he is not letting go. He has the bull by the horns. No. Um, alright. Tycon can't do anything else with his action economy. Um... So, yeah, he's just basically struggling against Gaius to get free. He is sanctuaried, um, but, I mean, all the Gaius is doing is holding him. It's like that backseat of the car situation. <laughs> like, he's touching me, I'm not touching him, he's touching me kind of thing. Like, yeah, that's the best I have. All right, Tychod will pass to uh, Andronicos. All right, I want to... Uh, I want to use my action to move so that I can push... Guys, just ship towards the. Towards All right, the hype, wall. hype. All right, give me that check. I don't have to. Oh right, right, right. Okay, in that case, uh, you turn their boat as you kind of crash into it. Shit. Gently crash into it. <laughs> See what you know what to do. Take the take the wheel. Yeah right. There oh you go. boy. All right, I guess I think we were like right here. Yeah, right there. Here goes his. Wait. Uh, Ah, there we go. All right. Um, Opus will give Telemachus the help action, and I want to tell Telemachus to drive their ship forward. Oh, shit. This is a Zemo. It's like, this is some Titanic <laughs> shit now. You're being held over the bow. All right. By, by a paralyzed man. Zemo's <laughs> 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 just holding on. Zemo's just holding on. Yeah, you guys were at the front of the boat, right? Yeah, so, yeah we're at the front. Yeah. All right, so yeah, he's, he's got you like right there. Okay. Yeah. I say, uh, do it. All right, Salamakis jumps out of the boat. <laughs> uh, uh, I think we can help us. I'm assuming. Does, yeah. Does All right. Uh, let's see. So this is a wisdom or uh, athletics. All right, here we go. He's pumping. He's pumping hard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that a fail by five or more? 
he got a 10, so that's a fail oh, by okay. 4, yeah. So, he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's actually rowing the fake oars. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just decoration telemark. And Alpis is actually trying to move the, the real oars, but he's a tiny cat-sized dragon, so it's just not enough. Um, alright, he says, There's something wrong with the oars, Andronicus! How about that? Who should I pass to, Captain, my Captain? Pass no, to Maya! That. She always has the answer! Maya, to you! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, let's see. Concentration. 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 Um. They're gonna steal. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, okay. I'm going to. That guy threw a sacred flame at me. Yeah, yeah. Right? I'll throw a. Is he in, is he in within range? Wizard battle in the sky. <laughs> okay. I'll get up a little closer. Yeah, there he is. And then throw produce flame at him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Ooh, an 11. Mm, that ain't great. I don't got my helmet on, so, you know, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cloud car, you'd be fine. Hey, listen, I finally I got to I got to experience the magic of it on Friday. It took fucking 50% of my rather sizable <laughs> full <laughs> health. Yeah. To avoid, like, four yeah, damage. Well, you know, yeah, 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 to avoid, like, four damage, yeah. yeah that's what happened. You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it, because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it, right? Shit? Okay. You you no, yeah. wait, no, 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 because no, I'm concentrating. No. Yeah, okay. I'm concentrating, so I'm not going to do it. All right, all right. Who do you pass to, then? I'll pass to the Craig spawn like waves his tentacles in the air. Julian. Ah! No, gee. no. Okay. <laughs> uh, Julian, you're up. You are currently you are currently concentrating on a twin casted owl's wisdom on Orin and Sibo, okay. and you have a non concentration one hour charm person on Hergeron, son of Sidon. Who is okay. a powerful wizard, more powerful than even the um, the head wizard of the Arcane Academy? You should tell him to drive his boat forward. <laughs> Are, am I? So where is his boat? Are we on it? Or no, no, his boat is the one that everybody's having a party on. That's aimed oh. directly towards this deadly maelstrom and the kraken spot. Okay. <laughs> mm, Spectacular. Give me a second to think. I'm kind of jumping. In the <laughs> sure, sure. Need to read some spells. Okay, we're successful. NPCs don't have concentration, right? Uh, since we're doing GG, they whatever they're concentrating on, they just stay concentrated on it. Right, yeah. Okay, so I can't get rid of their bless unless I dispel it. All right. So and I do, I do keep forgetting that Hergeron has this ability where he's allowed to do a bonus action yeah. weapon attack whenever he casts a spell, but whatever. Oh, yeah, sorry, Julian. What? Uh, so yeah, I was just shouting out yeah. to have him drive his boat forward because then it would hopefully get sucked into the maelstrom, which would be bad for their boat. It'd be bad for their boat, but also bad because most of our people are on that. Boat. It's, well, it's fine. Our it's people fine. do all have water walking and water breathing cast on them. True, mm -hmm. true. It's fine. It's the boats that matter in this. Um, right. It's uh, whoever's boat is last standing that wins. Not the people. Um, in that case, I'm going to go up and um, again, try and persuade. Um, All right, that'll be your action, though, if you try yeah. to persuade them. Okay. That's that's fine. All right. I mean, there, there's a limit to what I can do, because I, I... For sure, yeah. I mean, dude's, I, got, I dude's got a sizable intelligence. A, a um, sizable intelligence. Sizable. Well... Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll see if if uh, sex appeal will, will cloud his intelligence. I'll say, um, what's his name again? Hergeron. Hergeron. Hergeron, darling. Why don't you go over there and and knock that stupid Telemachus fellow away and show them how to really drive a boat? I bet you could ram that fucking thing down that kraken's throat. And I want to try and persuade him to do, go and do just that. 
I want to use one of my uh, uh, demon inspirations to do so. This is a big ask. You are asking this guy essentially to lose this very high profile event in front of his parents <laughs> that is dedicated to his grandmother. Yeah, but think of how badass still... sailing a ship into a maelstrom is. <laughs> like, like, you only live one styling, and that would be pretty epic. I mean, also, me? he's technically he's technically a godlike being, so you do not need to burn any points. You would you have advantage, right? Isn't that how your demigod thing works? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Oh my god. All right, go for it. I'm gonna. It's just gonna be a straight roll though, because it's at 15 times disadvantage. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Um. He I succeeded across. Ooh. Uh, you would still be one shy. Uh, oh, then I cross. Yeah. Oh, yeah. didn't you, uh, Juliana? Oh, no, it went to Sibo. Sibo got the inspiration. All right, he, he looks at you and he says, um, oof, that is a good idea. Well, let's do it in this boat, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I can do anything to stop him now. That was and bad. he... He's going to grab the oars, and he's going to try and steer this boat into the thing. Uh, <laughs> I thought he was he was charmed not to hurt. He's not going to hurt Julian. Oh, okay. Oh, he's enough. charmed not to hurt the boat. Yeah, he can save Ooh. me. Yeah. Well, the original he has charm some, was... He has some yeah. stuff stabbing it. He's going to turn the boat. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's like a, got like a drag race. Who can hit the Kraken first? All right. And he, he turns to you, and he says... uh Julian, my dear, uh, things might get messy. You might want to leave, but it's up to you. I like danger. Oh, all right. He blushes a little when you say that. Uh, and then he will use his paragon action to try and drive the boat into the maelstrom. All right. Ooh, Here we go. Well, two competitors down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! All right, so you two are off to the uh, the maelstrom together. Hold uh, on. It's actually kind of Metaphys beautiful. Metaphysically holding hands. <laughs> As you guys uh, so start works. sailing in, the uh, the crake spawn starts clapping its arms together um, in anticipation. As you guys enter the maelstrom, uh, as you enter the maelstrom, um, he has to try and save. Or not save, but he has to do another check to see if he's caught up in the maelstrom. Uh, yeah, he's he's fine. He has total control of the ship, so he takes half of the two d eight, and still has control over the boat. So the boat only takes five points of damage. All right, I got that. We're down to uh, one thirty-seven. All right. Uh, and he lets out a little bit of a, uh, a hearty laugh, and he says, uh, this is fun, yeah, Julian? Absolutely! And I'm just like, they have one of those fake grins on my face, and <laughs> off to your life. And it's really, oh, it's really creepy, because he has a fake grin on his face as well, because he's magically compelled to like you. Um, but he's also really, really <laughs> smart, so, like, part of his mind knows that he doesn't like you. So it's this, like, really creepy, like, rictus grin that you both are, like, sharing, like, back and forth. Slight eye twitch. Yeah. Everybody's just speaking through grins, like, not even yeah. opening their mouth. Feet. It's like, yep. we happy feet. All right. Um, uh, he is going to pass to Georgus, I think. Uh, and Georgus is going to lose his turn, but then try to make his save. Uh, that's a wisdom save against yep. Maya's DC of 15, 15, I say. 15, yeah, 15. Maybe, maybe, maybe? Ooh, no, nice. he is still paralyzed. Nice. All right. Uh, he will pass to Gaius, and there's a lot of motherfuckers on Gaius' boat right now <laughs> trying to steer <laughs> Gaius' boat into the maelstrom. Um, he, yeah, damn. He's looking around like, this is pretty bad. Um... Oof. He does have one Paragon, so he could try to turn the boat away and sail away. And he did yeah. that while still holding... holding nah, uh -oh. he... Ah, ah alright. Yeah, he'll just release Tycon. Um, Tycon will make a deck save. Hold on. I try and reaction grab him and give him help. Yeah, if he, if he fails, sure. Oh, uh, yeah, he fails. Okay. So, athletics I to mean, grab. He, has, he has water walking. He would literally just fall oh. next to the boat. <laughs> I'm like, Tycon, no! And then he just, like, is standing in the water. It's like, oh, okay. 
There we go. He's like, <laughs> he's he's like, like <laughs> exactly. Sorry. All right. And then, then with a the harumph, <laughs> Commander Guy sits down, and he he like pushes <laughs> Elpis out of the way, grabs <laughs> grabs the the fucking oars, and he just starts to try and row. Elpis right. is still trying really hard to row in the opposite <laughs> direction, but like nothing is happening. All Ooh, right, so shit. yeah, he fucking turns the boat around. So hold on. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. He's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> and he turned right. that direction with the boat, with the other boat in the way. Uh, oh. let's see. He got a twenty, so I guess it would bump this boat, mm. and then this boat would turn a little bit, and then this boat would be. Yeah, all right. So we'll do a couple of. We don't. Tr we try to avoid science, but I guess the boat would move like that, and then this boat would move like this. Oh, so they kind of push each other a bit. The proper and physics based then... game. And then he tried to move like that. All right, yeah. So once he gets to there, then he's gonna try like zoom out of there. Ooh, all right. So it's just a straight, straight getaway to. Can there. we have tight? Uh, can we have <laughs> Elmacus as his reaction not go along with the boat? You want him to roll out of the boat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, let me see. I don't, want for I don't want him stuck 50 feet away from me on someone else's boat. All right, he tries to make a dexterity save. This is going to be 14. Oh, my God. Right, yeah. 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 Marcus does like a fucking backflip off the boat. He just grabs so how to get out of these sticky situations. Goes over the grab his, yeah. Oh, I guess Telemachus doesn't have water walk. On what? <laughs> Depends on when we cast it. Yes. Like, and then he uses it. another 20 feet, and he gets onto Julian's boat. What Wait, the fuck? No! Why did you not yeah. go to your own boat? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 sorry, he goes up to this boat. Uh, or tries to go to that boat. There we go. And then yeah. Tycon will go onto that boat, I guess. With his 20 feet of movement, or at least get right next to the boat. Alright. Alright. <laughs> he tactically rolls out of that boat with a nat 20 wait, and then wait, gets wait, on the boat. You, you and Orin, I guess, get carried away with these guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, uh, up to two allies, can uh, Orin have jumped away while it was passing? Oh, instead of instead of giving it to Tycon? Uh, oh, to oh you two, and right? two allies. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, Orin, do you want to stay on the boat or you want to get off the boat? Uh, see, but you got this. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in this dude's grasp, but I have a, I have a misty step too. So. All right, I, I will. Uh, uh, yep, I'll roll off the boat then. Move. Okay. Difficult terrain, ten feet. Get towards this point. All right. Well, I think it's only difficult terrain in the maelstrom, right? So you should be able to move the full 20. Yeah, yeah. Out of the maelstrom, it's you're just running on water. It's fine. All right, I'll just be here then. Okay. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> he is going to pass to uh, the undead. Okay. So Fortunus points out when it's uh, her turn that uh, you made Georgos do a full action to get into the boat, but you didn't make Orin do a full action to get into the boat. Mm -hmm. And then the DM says, mm, mm, you caught me there. That's because Georgos is terrible. And then she says, all right, that is part of my creature. movement. I'm going to try to climb into the boat. And then the DM's like, goddamn equity. All right. And of course uh, she crits it. Uh, just so absolutely just, carrying yeah, the just, Yeah, she does like the thing where you do a handstand pull up you know, and then like back bends into the fucking boat, and I guess gets a boon. She finds fifty gold, fifty gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. All right, then she's gonna grab the fucking oars, and she's going to ready uh, to ram the boat that is already going into the goddamn maelstrom. All right, oh, nice. and then she's gonna pass to Georgos, and she's gonna say, "Don't fuck this up." <laughs> oh boy, You're gonna call him out like that. Looking at, uh... <laughs> I don't know if Looking they have enough boots to get to. Is it thirty feet? I mean, <laughs> well, they got they got two dudes. Yeah, but I mean, one of them's Georgos. <laughs> hey, what is that supposed to mean? Uh, Georgos says, "Don't worry, I've got it this time." And he's going to try an athletics check. If it's another one, I don't know. <laughs> what the? Oh fuck? my god! <laughs> one of them's gear. Right, goes so it's, one. It goes in a random direction. Hold on. He just he just snaps the oar. <laughs> ah! Okay, oh so two is aimed right into the fucking maelstrom. <laughs> oh my god! You're good. <laughs> 
I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Off screen. And Fortunus, you just see, you just see her stare at him. <laughs> this is that sad look in her miniature. <laughs> That's the look she's giving him right now. Look, Fortunus, I'm doing it. Um. All right. Since their boat, since the tip of the boat is in there, they now have to make a check against the maelstrom. Uh, oh she God. will make the check. She is going to allow him to do it because she's on the oars. So here we go. Got to beat a 14. Oh, shit. Oh, no. okay. oh. All right. So she makes it, but Keeps the boat the takes half a D8. She kind of wishes she had failed, honestly, because then the boat would get dragged closer to you guys. Um, all right. So the boat takes some damage. All right. And... Jorkins uh, passes to Costa, and Costa just shakes his fucking head. Like, what is he supposed to do about this? Because if he makes the boat go forward, they're going to get sucked into the thing. Um, but if he turns the boat, it's like they didn't do anything with their fucking turn. <laughs> fucking send it into the mess. All right, you know what? So the bold go the glory. If he can, if he can get a 19 or higher, they can turn the boat into the maelstrom and ram you. Fucking go for it. for it. Fucking go Here we go. It. Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. They get so extra the, maelstrom damage too. Yeah, the boat goes in. It it catches the maelstrom. It starts getting run towards you. She's going to go ahead and do an athletics because it's in the maelstrom to try to control it a bit. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh Gior no, just falls no. on top of this. So they take the yes, full 2d8. It's still Justin's fault. He's rolling around the deck like a bowling ball, like an unsecured cargo. All right, so their boat takes 10 points of damage. Uh, they are trapped by the maelstrom. However, the the path still takes them to your ship. She is going to try and make that attack roll against you. Here we go. Oh, I didn't mean to kill. I'm already doing that apparently. All right, 23 does hit. Your boat takes 25 points of damage. Jesus. <laughs> Does it turn us? Uh, physics us style. Right I guess there'd still be some more. Uh, yeah, thing behind it, so that would probably go like that a bit, oh, yeah. and then push you up a little bit more, like there. Yeah, it seems nah. about right. All right. Oh fuck! All right. So that is their turn. The undead actually managed to do something. Um, they damaged their boat more than half as much of the damage they managed to do to you, but they still counted as a win. Um, they that feels like a very undead approach to things. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> they will pass to... Commander Gaius is already gone. Cost is already gone. They'll pass to Lorius. Uh, Lorius is going to give... Uh, let's see. You know what? Lorius is going to use Songburst on the guy that is paralyzed. Oh no, what is all these fucking ones? All right. Oh, thank you. 13 does not get through this guy's armor. I don't believe. Uh, no. All right. Uh, so that is gonna be his turn and he'll just kind of try to move so that he is in a spot where he can help as many of you as possible. So maybe like right there. All right, Loris will pass. Julian's already gone. Um, Ghost is already gone because he's trying to bolster this worthless teammate. Is already gone. Uh, Storm Herald hasn't gone, and Craigspawn hasn't gone, oh, and Sibo hasn't gone. Who best is Sibo? All right, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and just do my misty step. <laughs> okay. Hey, Sibo. Hype, hype. Okay. I'm well blasted. <laughs> And then um, I'm going to item interact, light a javelin on fire, and chunk it at this boat. Hi, nice. nice. Okay. AC is only 14. You got the glorious inspiration. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, mm -mm -mm. Just, uh, just a dex check then? Uh, I mean, are you, not proficient? I mean are you not proficient in javelins? I'm not, so it'd be a strength oh, check. Oh, yeah, right. just be a raw strength check. All right. I'll use my inspiration. Okay. 
Yeah! Nice! All right, so 17 definitely hits. Um, and you set their boat ablaze. Also give me a D6 uh, plus or minus your strength modifier. And <laughs> that is... And then give me another D6 for the fire damage. Oh, dang. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Guys is roll, rolling the boat away as paralyzed ally, like, let's go with Sibo, and then a flaming javelin just hits the deck right next to him. <laughs> it's gonna be so mad! <laughs> and then the boat bursts into flames. Oh, right behind him! Oh, jeez! Alright. Man, I wonder what happens if you actually put the flaming... And there's, like, a This Is Fine meme <laughs> with Gaius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. It's one teammate, uh, basically, well, not basically, uh, one teammate, a demigod, in love with this jackass that side much, and then <laughs> this guy is paralyzed, and so guys is having to fucking save the whole boat himself. Uh, <laughs> good shit, good shit. All right. Um, wow. <laughs> let's Sebo, go, who, let's who do you pass with, to? Let's go with the Craig spot. Okay. <laughs> All right, oh, great. The Craig spawn that was spawned by one of Georgus's many fuck ups. All right. So many. Mm -hmm. All right. The Craig spawn that sees that there's a boat right there. And even though, uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Vomit forth from the deeps. Oh, that's nice. Um, an acidic slurry. All right. Um, nah. Let's see. Uh, are you... You're not a siege creature, right? You're not big enough yet. You're just a baby. Oh, jeez. Uh, mm, mm, okay. Hmm, Wouldn't you just reach out and say hello to a friend I want to hug you? <laughs> he is not a combatant, so he could technically use spells on the on you guys. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. You mean on the undead boat, is what you're saying. Well, I mean, he's, he's an equal opportunity uh, <laughs> smasher, so... He will, he will drop an ice storm on both boats, and we'll just say everybody on both boats, because everybody shifts around constantly on the boats, so yeah. we'll just say everybody on both boats. Yep. All right. I will be on the boat if I can shield it. The boats but... can make saving throws. Um, so I'll, I'll roll the boat saving throws real quick. If I, choose to, if I choose to take the damage, can I shield some of it against the boat? Because like, I'm off the boat. And... Uh, yeah, sure. Nice. All right. Wait, this isn't an attack, so... I mean, I'm using a... my body and shield to flop across the boat. <laughs> Is that normally how the ability works, sir? No, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Crash, I'm going to use one of my uh, demon inspirations to roll with advantage for this, that's okay. Alright, uh, yeah, go for it. The Seas Bow uh, has failed with a 2. Um, the Minnow has passed with a 16. Um, now, as far as combatants go, uh, let's see what we got. Georgos... And Costas and Fortune. Fucking really? God damn it. Alright, here we go. Dice flying everywhere. Alright, Georgos fails. Costas passes. Fortunus passes. No, fails by one. Okay. That's a high DC. DC 16? Holy shit. Um, Alright. I don't know how your guys' boat is doing. Is there anybody I have to roll for in there? Oh, Hergron. Alright, he rolls with advantage because magic resistance... I don't know if taking this damage would give him a save against the uh, charm. Let me look. It's only yeah, if uh, we do anything harmful to him, I believe. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's the uh, saving of this? This boat have deck saves or just, just take? Uh, I, I rolled it. It was those two rolls up there: d20 minus one and a d20 minus one. So. Oh shit. Was that our, right. was that our two? Yeah. Okay, we take eight. Yeah. Oh, see, would you already apply the eighteen or no? Uh, no. Alright, I'll take it off now. Yeah, it's it's charmed by you until uh, by you until the spell ends, or until you or your companions do anything harmful to it. Okay, yeah, no one, none of you did anything <laughs> harmful to it, so, there you go. Nope. And I think you have to roll for Owl's Wisdom. And then there's some chonky, um, chonkiness. Oh no, I rolled, there. I failed. That's okay. It. Oh, you, you failed your concentration check, too? Uh, oh no, I haven't done that. Do that. Okay. So Georgos takes the full 18, Fortunus takes 18, Costas takes half. Poof! Alright. And then that area will be uh, chunky ice until the end of its next turn. 
All right. All right. So I rolled an 18 in my character. Okay, so you're good. Um, all right, the Crake spawn, the only person left to pass to is the Storm Lord. Or sorry, the Storm Herald. Uh, so let's see, Storm Herald. Man, it doesn't like the fact that Maya did that, but it also doesn't like the fact that this boat is on fire. So, let's see. Question. Mm, yeah. If I use control flame on that fire, mm -hmm. does that consider me using magic to affect the boat? Mm. Uh, no, you'd be affecting the... F Ooh, that's tricky, right? Because you'd be making the fire spread on the boat? Then, yeah. Also, this guy couldn't create water to get rid of the fire because that would also be affecting the boat. Oh, my God. Now, Ooh. okay, question. Do you, if yeah. the fire was on our boat and I used con uh, control flame to put out the fire, would that be okay? That's what I'm saying. He can't put the boat, the fire out with water either because that would be magic affecting the boats. Okay. So uh, he looks out at Gaius. He sees this dude is struggling. But he's going to use dispel magic on the whole person. Okay, counter spell. That is it is also right. Yeah, if he's within 60 feet, definitely. Would the dispel magic also get rid of his bus? And why would dispel magic get rid of it? Use one creature object, uh, blah 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 blah, and then you remove one effect. Oh, one uh, effect. On that okay. Creature. Yep. Yeah, it's one effect. Yeah. Yep. It's a level three. Um, it's all I have. So. Counter spell. Oh, no, you're right. For each spell of fourth or higher on the target, uh, make an ability check. Um, this is a great question. Hold on. Uh, 5e, can you choose which spells to dispel on a creature? That's a great question. Creature that correctly identifies as well. Can you selectively dispel spells? Unlike many other spells, Dispel Magic allows you to choose any target, even when you can't see. You still have to choose a target. Um, you don't have to know what spells you're dispelling. In order to dispel a target, you need to be aware of the effect. Um, hmm. Okay. I feel like you'd probably be selective with it. Because he's the one that cast the Bless. He's, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can decide which ones you're going to go for. Which We'll just use that for everybody moving forward. Okay. Yeah. That's not neutralized. Or yeah, but you are right, because you could either choose a single effect, or you could choose all effects on a creature. I think is the, a better interpretation of it. So, okay. yeah. We'll have them decide to do just the one effect. Yeah, it's one creature object or magical effect within range. So he'll pick the one magical effect to dispel. Okay. Uh, but good to know in the future when shit starts piling up, you can choose one creature and then yes, if you choose the creature, all effects will be dispelled, mm -hmm. not just not just the ones you choose. Okay. That's that's where the finesse would come in, would be choosing the single effect or the creature and purging them of all magical effects. All right, cool. Um, all right, so that is the plan. So you want to, but you want to counterspell it, correct, Sebo? Yes. yes. All right, then uh, as long as you cast it at third level, you counter it. Yep, it's third level, that's all I have. Yep. All right, then that is its turn. Um, entering the next round, uh, it is going to pass to... <laughs> Shit. All right, it'll pass to uh, Jorgis. Jorgis will try to break free on his own. He loses his turn. He tries to make a wisdom saving throw. Dang. He does. So he is freed of the effect, but he still lost his turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Concentrating. Okay. Um, he will pass to Gaius. Gaius is just going to try to sail the boat, reposition. All right. Yeah. So Gaius is going to move the boat uh, 30 feet and then also turn the boat as he does. So we'll go to like there and then turn the boat like. So, there we go. And the fire stays with it. We'll say that we'll just burn the boat on Sibo's turn. Okay. Since Sibo made the fire. <laughs> Is he past <passed> Sibo? <laughs> he does not pass to Sibo. <laughs> uh, what a strange question. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Gaius will then pass to <laughs> Giorgos. 
All right, let's see. Yorgos of the Underworld, you could do this, bro. This is your time to shine. Gaius believes in you. He didn't pass to you because he thinks you're comically terrible. Uh, all right. So, let's see. Gorgos is just going to try... He's going to just want to walk onto your guys' boat. Oh, God. Don't no, no. <laughs> no, touch and, me, dude. Yeah, he... And then, and then Fortunus is nodding at him. He says, You want me to steer this boat? And she's like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that boat. Okay. And he's going to try and steer your guys' boat. Yeah, out of the mail. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> sure, <laughs> Jesus. So, it's not let's by see. more than more than five, though, so it's just nothing. Yeah, happens, right? this doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> it seems to be broken. And you see that he is also holding the fake uh, oars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. He's going to pass. Telemachus is like, this man gets it. <laughs> <laughs> um... You know what? Yeah, he does get. He's gonna pass the Telebox. All right, Telebox is gonna try to climb back into the boat. Uh, let's see. He's gonna do acrobatics. See if he can pull himself up into the boat. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> what the they're, fuck? they're two of soul, really. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he climbs up and he falls off and lands on his butt. All right, he pa he passes to Tycon. Tycon just looks over at him, just so confused, and he's going to go ahead and do this. All right, he's going to grab um, with his action, tell Marcus to pull him into the boat, and he's going to say, All right, brother, we're here and we're ready. <laughs> it's up to you, Andronikos, and he passes to Andronikos. Uh, I am just going to <laughs> burn the boat. Okay. Strong, strong play, strong play. I mean, I'm tempted to just sail away and leave you <laughs> all. Like, sail into the crowd? Like, just like, you fucking done? No, sail <laughs> the other side where no one's at and let you Oh, and just, just let them out. kill each other? Yeah. yeah but Stick starts playing. Come that's sail what, away. Come that's sail what Nathan away. wants to do. I don't think that's what he's <laughs> wants to do. Um... I wish oh. there was an anti-help action, and I would have Elpis do that to Gaius. Uh, but there isn't, so instead I'll have Elpis fly and then dash to get back on my own boat. Okay. You could always cast Bane! <laughs> these be a distract action. I yeah, am going to... Great. Oh, I gotta figure out when these boats get affected. I said it was gonna pull, put them into initiative if they were being impacted, so here we go. You can now pass to these boats. The only thing that passing to these boats does is affect them with the maelstrom. Oh, shit. I'm going to pass to the undead boat. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Um, Fortunus is going to try. Now yeah, she got that idiot off her boat. All right. It's got to be a 14. Oh, my God. Yeah. This woman. Jeez, right, three nat 20s. Our, right, you're on our team. <laughs> Uh, all right, she gets a bunch of temp HP, I guess. Uh, here we go. She's like, can I give it to the boat? And the DM's like, shut the fuck up. Um, all right, so... I'm gonna so the, steal. Boat, the boat stays where it is. It doesn't get force moved, because she manages to basically strain her undead muscles against the current and keep it from pushing the boat any further. Uh, it does still take half of 2d8. And you're gonna steal, you said? Oh yeah. All right, so you spend your point to steal. Their boat takes four points of damage. All right, you're up. All right, try and climb it. Okay. okay. Yeah, no problem. You climb in. All right. I think uh, I need what you got here. <laughs> you're just welcome aboard. Oh hi, Dreamwalker. Hey. Oh. Lutheria, look! I'm in your boat with Orin. She she uh she looks over at you, but her face is cold, and she does not wave at you. I wasn't even looking at her. Uh, <laughs> Orin will uh try to turn the boat. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Make sure this is what I want to do. Yeah. 
Alright, so yeah, we can use... Okay, yeah, wisdom to turn the... Okay. It's a save, but same thing. Alright, uh, I have advantage because of, uh... Because of Julian. Okay, yeah, yeah, because the I got that concentration a lot! So we succeeded So you're doing the... a turning, so you can essentially move, move and turn. Like, just like if you were steering the boat. So if you want to, you can move and then tr uh, then also move the boat. Oh, it will be okay. half speed because you're currently in the Maelstrom. All right, well, in that case, <laughs> I know where we're going. Just get out of the Maelstrom. We're going towards these guys. So half speed, 15 and feet. And then I guess as you turn the boat that away, it would probably knock their boat more towards the Maelstrom like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm at the back here. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, he's at the front of the boat. <laughs> Julian, wouldn't it be For cool? For Dennis, look, I got the boat to move. The Julian, wouldn't it be cool if uh, back if your your new friend went and helped out the the undead, and then I'll Sibo <laughs> <laughs> ramming speed past the Sibo. <laughs> yes. Done. All right. All right. I will ramp. All right, Sebo, well, give me a D10 for the fire damage. That's right. So not to not to bug, but it was D6 last time. Is it just D6? No, it's a D10 because it's an oil effect now that it's on the boat. Got it. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. Yep. Meh. Okay. All right. Okay. Every okay. little bit helps. Wiz with advantage to ram. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you would have advantage if you rolled wisdom. Otherwise, you got to do an athletics. Right, Ooh, fourteen is what you needed. Though, Ramming but speed. technically, you got to save the ram for when the boats connect. But it's fine. Oh, we'll store right, it. We'll right. store it for them. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Oh, but now that it. you know you're going to succeed, it's a little less cool. Oh, uh, but uh, who do you pass to? Um, if you pass to Julia, Julia can use his action and try to ram. Uh, you know, actually move the boat into it and uh, activate your ram. I will have Sophia help Julian. Oh, uh, okay. Julian. All right. In that case, that's what I'll do. Uh, you need your old uh, wisdom save. You could, well, you do check. a wisdom check or athletics or uh, acrobatics. Yeah, wisdom check. <laughs> okay. All right. Trying to get a fourteen here. Ooh, no, that's pretty close. Right. It's pretty close. It, the boat. The boat is really heavy. I don't know why. <laughs> I will succeed in the call. Yes. Okay. We've got our, our hood ornament up here. <laughs> Your ghost. Oh, man, he flies, flies into the boat when he grams. Oh, not too bad. Misfortune wow. token. Just record that was it. That fucking misfortune token. No, you have, you have George's over here. Just finally gets out of his paralyzed, looks around, surveys the field, <laughs> and he sees come barreling towards it. All right. Nobody needs a hug. All right, you get out, uh, and then you have just enough movement to hit the front of their boat. <laughs> yeah, he comes to just in time to see this dude come barreling towards them, and their boat takes 25 points of damage. Yes. That means that the elusive fall is bloodied. Oh, dang. Is that too big? Would you prefer I just do a small one in the corner? I think a small one would be better so that we can uh, yeah. Yeah, see yeah. them move. All right. All right. Sick. Oh, we can see the health bars too. So. Oh, you can oh, see the health bars of all the ships. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Then I'm gonna move Julian to here, and Hergron's there, and Sophia is there. Okay. Who do you pass to, Julian? Um. Let's see. Who hasn't gone? Yet? Bebo oh. went. Uh, Oren went. Uh, Prissy Ghost. <laughs> Has just given up. Uh, let's see. I think that is now accurate. I, I guess I'll pass to Maya. Yeah. Yeah, because Gaius, Gaius, has a, Gaius hasn't gone yet, right? No, Gaius, Gaius did go because he started to sail away, right? Yeah, was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Uh, Gaius, I'll pass to Maya. All right. Maya, to you. All right. Uh, 30 feet. Am I in, in range again? 30. All right. Let me see. He's, I mean, he's, he's charmed, but he was still doing evil genie stuff. So, uh, what I'm going to do 
Wait, actually, hold on. Let me... <laughs> He's on our boat just hanging out while we annihilate it. Is, um... Yeah. While his parents watch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> does does, does Loris's bardic inspiration go away when his turn comes back around? No. Okay, okay, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do another third level uh, hold person. Okay. And I'm going to try and get uh, um, head, head grown and guys. You're trying to get her oh, grown oh, and oh, guys. Her, her grown and guys, yeah. Okay. All right, here, hold on, let me post it. All right, Hergron is at advantage. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That guy is god dang. All right, you uh you managed to paralyze uh Hergron. Oops, that's haste. So. Oh man, poor guy. He's having a really bad showing. All right, and then I'll pass to uh, <laughs> I'll pass to the uh, uh, the Craig. Okay, uh, Craig Spawn sees that there are people on the boat, and it is curious. It is curious. So let's see. It makes eight tentacle attacks and one fight attack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh damn. All right. So it swims up and Costas looks over at it and it looks at Costas and it just starts in on him. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my. Oh jeez. This is like the fire elemental coming up on it. Yeah. Uh let's see. I believe with his armor class. Oh yeah. Uh <laughs> the lowest I, one was a fifteen. Yeah, they all hit. But they do necrotic damage. Okay. Uh because this is the uh, underworld creature. Um he is resistant to necrotic, but not immune. Oh no. Alright, so half and half. He might survive. Hold on. <laughs> At half. Count, uh, yeah, 91. Half, <laughs> half. Half. Oh, I should have just listened to your 91 and just subtracted that much. Um, well, it's half, right. half of 91. So, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. 45. Okay, he is bloodied, but still alive. Uh, but he's also uh, grappled eight times. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> so it, it pick him up and it put him in its mouth. And then it's going to take a bite attack. Oh my god. Man, when we have to fight this thing later on. <laughs> uh, cha chapter seven. They're they're a common spawn. Um all right. Um uh, yeah, so it starts nomming on him. All right, so that's the thing that's happening. What's the reaction from uh, Fortunus? <laughs> she looks to Lutheria as if to say, "Really?" And Lutheria is uh, just staring angrily at Orin. It's still, the, it's still the fa same faces on, on her token, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but her her third eye is definitely staring yeah. at Orin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, so the Crake spawn is going to pass to. Um, Let's see who's left. Maya went. Um, it's going to pass to Lorius. Uh, Lorius is going to re up um, inspiration on Orin. Nice. That will take. All right. And then uh, let's see. The minnow has already been impacted. Uh, Lorius will pass to Hergron. All right. Uh, Hergron looks around at what is happening here. He sees his own teammates, but he is paralyzed, so he's just going to stay there and do nothing. Uh, so he gets a new wisdom saving throw to try to break free. Uh, yes. he, all right. And then his Paragon action activates, and he'll try to get free. 
Oof. Oh, yeah. oh he's got so magic he... resistance, magic resistance. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, you burn his entire action economy for the turn, including Dang. his paragon action. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, he looks around, he sees you, Maya, and he uh, he says, uh, I don't have to keep an eye on you. And you see his third eye just kind of lock onto you. As, okay. as shown in... Yeah, as, there it is. Alright, yeah, come over here. I'm not on All that right. boat. Alright, he's gonna pass to the Storm Herald. The Storm Herald is like, what am I even casting? Fucking bless if these assholes are... Oh my god. Um, Alright. I mean, we're going guys. Can't affect the boat. It's gonna float closer. And... Maya's not really concentrating on anything anymore, so there's no reason to light her up. Uh, hmm. Hmm. You know what? You know what? He's going to use aggressive. And he's going to move closer. <laughs> he's just going to fucking stab you, Maya. <laughs> 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 or he's going to try to stab you. Excuse me. 13? Miss All right. Uh, Wait, are we supposed to only use magic? <laughs> <laughs> Disqualify. It, it's a magical item. All right. Uh, he's gonna pass. To... In that case, can I use my sling against the boat? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, he's not supporting his team with spells. He's stamping at you. Um, I mean, if you if you think you could uh, get away with slinging the boat, go for it. Right. All right. right. Uh, let's see. You know what? He will he will challenge you on that. He will pass to Maya. I'll uh, uh, look towards wherever the referees are. <laughs> as you as okay. you dodge a knife, and then like look back at him where the knife is, almost you know stabbing me. Uh -huh. do, they, do I see any uh, recognition in their eyes? I mean, everyone's cheering and watching. All right, I'm gonna whip, uh, pull out a, a sling, raise it up in the air. And see if I hear a whistle. Okay, there's no whistle. Oh, All right, geez. I'm gonna. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you guys, got, you got a full health boat. I'm gonna tell you that you're not a that you're not a boat, Maya. I'm gonna point that out. Oh, you're not I mean, a boat. I'm not a boat, but it's not magical. Okay, that's true. Oh, but it is a weapon. So, hmm. Oh. Okay. okay, in that case, in that case, you know what? What I'm gonna do is he tried to stab me with. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna dodge it out of the way, and then I'm gonna try and bite him with my hair. <laughs> oh my god! This is like when there's a there's a brawl in baseball. The cra yeah, yeah. It looks like two baseball parents just beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> Wait a second. Natural attacks <laughs> work, right? I thought this was just like, what? What? <laughs> You're gonna fly down and attack the boat? Oh my, my god! <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, boats I, don't I mean, if you want to, it's it sounds pretty hype. But yeah, they start cheering when they see your hair start. Uh, Writhing in anger. Nice. Oh yeah, that hits. Uh, all right, he's gotta make a Constitution save. Uh, he fails. Uh, nope, he passes. Poison? He passes. Yeah, right. Just passes. Yeah. He takes the damage. Uh, and he is poisonoed. Oh, not poisoned because he made the save. All right. Um, yeah, and the people are like cheering as these two coaches are uh, just beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> and this third coach, they're trying, they're they're shouting for Lorius to join in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who do you pass to? I'll pass to uh, I'll pass to Telemachus. Telemachus. All right, Telemachus. Telemachus, take us forward. I will. He he he's, he might he might. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right, which direction do we spin? Um, all the way to the east. All right, Captain! Oh, oh, ready to... wants us to run away. <laughs> <laughs> I have moved the boat, Captain! I, uh, you, yeah, I should have been more specific. This is my fault. <laughs> It is up to you, Captain! And he has to Thank see you. you. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> turn the boat. <laughs> Jesus. You don't want to roll to see if you can move and turn, you just want a guaranteed turn? 
Yeah. Okay, fair. Uh, and then I will have Elpis help action Tykan and say, Tykan, take us forward! Oh, forward! You got it, brother! Uh, and he's gonna try to take you forward. There you go. Two, two. All right. So move your boat and I guess angle it if you'd like. Uh, it's doing that wall shit again. Oh, sure, 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 sure. All right. Uh, moving to here. Perfect. Is that good? All right. Okay. Take him out. Hell yeah. All right. Um, anything else from uh, Andronicos and Tycon? Uh, I think that'd be no, it. That'll be it. All right. Tycon will pass to. Tycon. Yeah. All right. I'm going to rush <laughs> here. Uh, get next to Georgos. Say, Georgos, I bet I can do more damage to this boat than you. And I'll start yes. stabbing at this. No, no at way. Boat. There's no way. <laughs> I'm going to use Wait, the. Wait, uh, which boat? Which boat? The one with uh, that guy on it, and I'll just okay, yeah, you know, you you can just you. You stab the enemy boat. Yeah, I'll like I'll hop up on you too, and then like okay. start stabbing down. Um, I'll use it like a melee. Weapon. All right. Oh uh, come on, eleven and twelve. I'll succeed at a cost on the first one. Let's see how we go. Uh, oh, just the first one. Uh, I want to see how it goes first. Sure, sure, sure. Reroll that damage. Oh yeah, true, true. Uh, Give me a freshie. Uh, oh, all right, you pull your uh, your Achilles tendon, I guess. Uh, <laughs> leap it onto that ship. Ooh, okay. I don't know why it crit. Yeah, let me just pull. You pull your Achilles, pulling your Achilles. All right. So that new damage is a five, and then all second right. one will succeed at a cost. I can I can deal oh, with being all right. sl hamstring. Oh, <laughs> oh no. All right. Uh. Okay, so I'm hamstringed and baned. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I get a lingering charisma save, right? DC is yep, 13. Yep. DC Can I just spell magic that? Is eight 14. plus your level. Okay, do I have an advantage because right? of magic resistance? Yeah, because your level six was fourteen. Do I have advantage because of magic resistance? Um, this is. It's a bane if I mean, it feels pretty mad. This is. This is bane because of just bad luck, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Like uh, I sent you. I sent you the very specific list of requirements uh, for magic. You know, you know I'm still gonna try it, lawyer. Right, right, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. Take, I'll okay. take my bane, uh, and then I'll get my shield wall going. All uh, right. As a bonus action. Yeah, I think that is my turn. I'll pass to Giorgos. And for anyone curious, the list that I shared with him was. Uh, Forget that. to reroll your second damage. Oh, true, true. Let's see. Yep. D4 plus 4. D6. Oh, yeah. Nice, take, take. nice. All right. <laughs> I got. I hamstring myself and bane myself <laughs> for 13 damage. Uh, Georgos of the Underworld laughs at you. <laughs> you can't do this. Watch me. Do you pass to him? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh no. man. <laughs> He's going to fucking oh. kill himself. All right. Uh, let's see. He is going to. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, I forgot. He's going to start farting excitedly. <laughs> so he activates his stink aura. So just got to keep that in mind. I'll turn on his aura for you. Because now you got him. He's excited. You got his. He's building up a lather. You know what I'm saying? Oh, jeez. All right. There we go. And oh, let's. Damn. Uh. Oh wow. Uh. He doesn't have any allies nearby. Okay. Um. What's Shifty do for him? Oh, disengage his bonus action. Sure. He'll just disengage his bonus action, and he'll roll like a blob. Uh. Onto the boat, I guess. I can't. Uh, nah, I guess. I guess Jor Jorgus would probably stop him. So Jorgus and Jorgos uh, go up against each other, and he's just going to attack their boat. Uh, let's see. He is going to bite their boat. <laughs> uh, here we go. 
<laughs> Hell yeah. And this is no. where it happens. Nah, <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, and he this gains, is what he's good at. He gains 9 temp HP in the good process. Does he, does he look over at Fortuna like, Hey! Yeah. I'm helping! Fortunus does smile at him and give him a thumbs up. And it means the world to him. As his, his mouth is full of splinters. And he turns to you and he's just spraying splinters out of his mouth. Gases are leaking out of the seams of his body. And he says, I'm way better than you. Hmm, only about 20%. <laughs> um, he will pass to Fortunus. Who looks over, looks over at Costas like, sorry, bro. And she is going to get the fuck out of there, or at least try to. Oof. That is uh, only enough. I don't know why it rolled for Jorg. Oh, I rolled on Jorgis' character sheet. All right. Um, hers, is only, hers is only a plus six. 16, she does it. Yeah, so 16, she'd do it, just she wouldn't get a lot. So she turns the boat. Or, you know what? She should probably take advantage of what's going on here and try to get the fucking speed boost. So she'll go 60 feet in the direction of the maelstrom in a straight line. And just so, peace out. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. All right. Um, and then, you know what? She's going to... She wants to see... Balcony. She's going to see for herself what happens, so she's going to pass to the minnow, uh, which would then take the 2d8 damage and require her to make another check. All right, here we go. Oh my god, just puts All the right. team on her back. Like oh. So she, she maintains position, the ship is not stuck, the ship is not carried, and she takes half the damage. She lets out a sigh, even though she doesn't breathe. All right, and she will pass to <laughs> fuck. Um, she'll pass to Maya. I already went. Oh shit! All right, my bad. Um, she will pass to Julian. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so am I in that stink aura? Um, if you are in the green, I'm gonna say Just you should it, be. Yeah. Yeah, he ran to the very front of the boat. I think you're fine. Okay. All right. I just I want to play fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's right, Maya. You started things off because you guys were having a slap fight in the middle of the air. Yep. Okay. All right. There we go. I wish they would do an update to this um, initiative tracker where everyone could check on it because then it'd be right. like, so much easier for us all to do it together. But I did see an update they mm -hmm. recently pushed that had something to do with on your turn on, on a player's turn they can like end their turn or something like that. Oh, that's cool. So how do they know it's their turn though? I don't know. That's that, that's I saw the yeah. update. I haven't looked in it looked into it though. Mm -hmm. Okay, you'll probably see. So it the um, where's the dude that's providing support for? Uh, the storm lords. This the... guy right here. Okay. I'm gonna try and mind slaughter him to get him to break concentration on the bless. Okay. Okay. Uh, technically, as a GG monster, he just maintains until he's dropped. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, then, yeah, yeah. shit, that'd be a waste. Um, which I'll admit is a decidedly unfun mechanic for like uh, non boss casters. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and just have him make a check. That's fine. Are you, are you um, sure? I mean, yeah, I can yeah, pick yeah. a different target. Nah, that's fine. It's fine. Because I was just gonna, uh, I was just gonna spy. Mind sliver the guy that's being uh, manhandled by the Kraken. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. Yeah, I mean, you might want to put him out of his misery, I guess. Yeah, that's yeah I'll, I'll, just, I'll just mind sliver the other guy since you had uh, okay. to be able. He has a plus zero to his save, so here we go. Woof. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, he takes the four damage. Yep. And okay. we'll roll a d4.
Minus Ooh. four to six. Hey. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. All right. What else you got? What else you got? Or is that it? That that's that's it. Unless I can, unless I could be like uh, ask uh, uh, Hagaron say, what? No, why don't you uh, just you know throw Big Boy over there to the crack? It looks like he's about to eat one of the undead. Why don't you make it two? Uh, if you want to use a sorcery point to do your cantrip as a bonus action, you could definitely use your action yes, to try to I persuade will do that. him. Yeah. I will do okay. That. All right. Give me a persuasion. Now, I don't think he could use telekinesis because Georgos obviously weighs more than 500 pounds. Um, but he is persuaded. He says, uh, I'll figure something out. I'll give him uh, a wink and a kissy face. Oh, damn. Okay. All right. Do you pass to him? I'll pass to him. All right. Uh, he is going to... Uh, let's see... Uh, bah, 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 bah. bonus action. Yeah, he's gonna bonus action change size. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! The bonus action. Oh, because he's a Titan born. All right. Let's see. Step forward into this guy's fart aura. So let's see how that goes. I think oh, it's if you start. God start your turn there so maybe yeah, it time. was if you start your turn uh, okay well that's <laughs> he, good he was, let me he, delete that he, all right he, he just begged that critical fail for his next thing you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh let's see this is just to say the creature's immune to your sets for 24 hours uh oh my god be poisoned until the start of your turn filled by five more incapacity as well well thank goodness he didn't start his turn there all right he's gonna move there and he'll go to pick up this boy up uh Let's see. He's a bit stronger now, so he'll have advantage to his athletics check. Uh, is no, yeah, because it's bigger. Mm. His strength's kind of the same. Nah, it'll just be normal. All right, here we go. It's a normal athletics check to try to pick up Yorgos. Oh my god! All right, this is why some DMs hide their rolls so they can make up how cool shit actually is, I mean, and they don't have to like. Oh wow! <laughs> All right, he goes to pick him up, and there's like a audible grunt as he's trying to pick Yorgos up. And Yorgos says, "Hey, are you hugging me? Cause I like it." Uh, and Hergeron blushes a bit, and then he uh, tries to pick him up again. All right, all right, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, uh, and then he picking this boy up, and he just kind of holds him up above his head. But then the stink aura is coming, uh, is coming for him. All right, so he is, we'll say, twenty feet in the air. Oh my god! All right. Also, at this point, I think your boat would be tipping or sinking. Yeah. How is, how is it supporting all this fucking weight? Um, all right, Oren or Julian or Sibo, I'm gonna need one of you to do a DC 14 um, strength, uh, acrobatics, or wisdom to see if you mm -hmm. can keep the boat from cat like basically capsizing because it's too much, is too much weight all on one side of the boat. I think Sibo, you got the best shot. I'm, I'm Bane, but you got advantage. Also, when he embiggened like that to his true size, everybody like, uh, kind of went nuts in the crowd oh, uh all right so this boat is gonna do a barrel roll it is gonna flip and then it's gonna flip back around you may give me a dexterity save to see if you could hold on to the boat and be back in the boat when it surfaces otherwise you will be left in the water i'm going to burn my last steam inspiration to try and stay on board well, what happens if if you guys have water walking while this is happening oh, oh no shit. they're gonna get crushed by the boat dom you are just so savage oh my god all right wait so do we I mean, you can choose the remember remember water walking you can choose to let go of it but if you do it's gone right oh yeah, yeah. i guess so yeah yeah i would say if you fail you're gonna get mashed underneath this this heavy ass boat it's like a so rolling unless you, unless you get pushed into the water so, Sibo, do you want to get pushed into the water, or do you want to uh, take a bunch of damage as you get smooshed, and I then push, still have yeah, uh, water. you get pushed in the water? Okay. Yeah. 
Well, your friend Georgos got a fu another fucking complication. Oh, of course. The vermin. Oh my god. Uh, he gets hit on. by the boat yeah, and like squeezes well, out. There's so. something inside of him Somewhere. that's making a snake aura. <laughs> I was gonna have something appear in the water, but yeah, that's pretty good. We'll just have a uh, swarm of centipedes burst out of his body. Got squished by the boat <laughs> and the water, and just centipedes came out. Okay, Un so unreliable I, swarm. I, I passed my deck save, so do I need to drop water walking in order to not get take a shit ton of damage? You made your saving throw, or you didn't. I did. Oh, we'll say that you just uh, curled up and get like as close to the boat as you could. Okay. And, no, you'd still get mashed up, wouldn't you? Because of how it works. Um. Then I'll just drop it. I've got. Yeah, but then you're still gonna be in the boat though, so you got that. Yeah. All right. Dang. All right. Good point, right, no... Tom. Yeah, good point. All right, so no longer water walking. Got it. All right. Hoof. Okay. I have a gift for this. Let's see if I can find. All right. Did you? Uh... Oof. Okay. So everybody gets gets rolled around. The boat's back to normal. Um, Sibo, you are out of the boat and in the water. Yep. These two are off the boat in the water as well. Julian, you're the only one left on the boat. Wonderful. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> Julian's going to turn to Sophia and like, I need your help. All right. Uh, we're going to pass to Jorgis. Uh, so Jorgis is going to... Uh, from where he's at, he's just going to stab at your boat. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? He's going to kick on his aura... I don't think he can, though, because if he damages the boats with his aura, and the boats do count as creatures. So, that's, yeah. He can't use his storm aura. Alright. In that case, uh, yeah, he's just gonna do a javelin, I guess. And stab your guy's boat. What? I he was dealing with Georgia. Oh, this is Georgia's, never mind. Alright, so nine damage to uh, the sea's bow. Not on my watch. I'm right next uh, to the guy. Uh, all right. Well, bam. Uh, four. All four. right. Five damage to you guys <laughs> both. <laughs> okay. Um, and that is his entire turn. Uh, he will pass to Gaius. Um, fuck, dude. <laughs> all right. Gaius is going to walk up. And he'll stab at this other boat. I think. Eh, you know what? He'll chuck two javelins at the boat from where he's standing. They got, they got javelins to spare at this point. Alright, here we go. Give this guy a javelin. Mm -hmm. Alright, and he can't use smite or any of that good shit. So this is just a regular javelin attack. He does have multi-attack. So he's gonna. Hell oh my yeah. god! Alright, so he's gonna yeah. miss. Let's see what the complication is. Exposed defenses. Your swing bounces you so much that your target may make one melee attack against you, else, a random enemy may attack you or dash using a reaction. Alright, we'll just go closest out. You already used your reaction. Um, Julian, do you have a reaction? Uh, I do. Do you want to use it to dash or attack Gaius? <sighs> I could just get back in the boat. <laughs> or yeah, we could pass the Sibo. Sibo could use it to try to do a dash. Um, I'd rather try and attack the boat, but I have to attack Gaius, don't I? Yeah. I I'll just pass the Sibo. All right, Sibo, give me an acrobatics or athletics to get back into the boat as part of your movement. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Better than the first stocks adventure. All right. <sighs> Hate the uh, Gaius gets two more attacks. Uh, two more? Gonna... Yeah. Yeah, he's a very high level oh, creature. Yeah. Well, no, no, this isn't even his Paragon. He has multi attack. Uh, let's see. But he only has so many javelins, though, and he threw one. Uh, I guess item interact, he would at least get to pick up one more. Uh, eh, screw it. He, you don't have a reaction anymore, right? Nope. Yeah, okay, so, I pass to see them. and uh, Oren doesn't either. Yeah, so he'll move on, move on to your guys' interconnected boats, and he'll just uh, do two more stabs. Here we go. He moves. Oh, uh, he moves through the vent. Oh, damn. All right, 
and he'll stab your boat again. Oof. All right. So what is this? Uh, Looks like 18, 18 damage total. I thought our AC was 17, or is that only during that? It would only last for that round. Gotcha, you have to gotcha, keep gotcha. keep re-upping it oh, if you want to pl play defensive. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh. All right. I think that brings your boat to bloodied. Yeah. yeah. So your boat is bloodied as well. All right. And then it's gonna pass. Wait. Uh, does Sibo just have his turn? No, Sibo no, used his reaction to climb up to the. Oh, that's a huge yeah. reaction. Okay, I was gonna right. say fire burn. And then since he's on there, he's a paragon. We just want to get his paragon burned. He'll just keep stabbing your boat. So Giffy paragons, they do the full multi attack. So one, two, uh. three. He'll just keep stabbing into your boat over and over and over again. Oh my god! All right, All that's right. gonna be uh. 26? 26 more damage. This guy's a proper bastard. Alright, Tycon, <laughs> Tycon uh, yells to you at Dracos, and he's like, check it out, brother! They're doing all that work for us! Indeed they are! <laughs> Such is life on the Scrappy team. Alright, uh, Gaius will pass to... Uh, let's see... He's kind of sadistic, sure. Uh, he'll pass to the Craig spawn. All right, the Craig spawn is going to dismantle this guy. Do, do we really need to roll for it? I mean, mathematically, oh, we, he, also we has, kinda... he also has a negative four to his save. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what save he's going to make other than the Craig spawn literally tearing him apart. Uh, so, yeah, it's just going to just tear him apart. That's what it's going to spend its action doing. Uh, I was very happy about this. Oh, uh, Costas ceases. He's, he doesn't exist anymore. So that's the end of Costas of the Underworld. They will have to field a new combatant for tomorrow's events. The crowd oh, just... just gotten annihilated in both fucking events <laughs> so far. Poor, <laughs> poor guy. You know, you know, the Underworld, you go there, you get punished for your, the sins of your life. So maybe Costas is like, was a real shithead uh, athlete in life. And this is his penalty in death. I, I don't know. Or it turns out uh, he was like the nicest person. <laughs> and, uh... and yeah, Fort... but he, he wound up in Lutheria's realm, not Elysium, so... Yeah, and Fortunus was like a really badass, um, you know, t type A, like super executive type person. And then that's why she's been given this terrible team to manage. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh... Julius seems to be having the time of his life, though. I mean, <laughs> or be... time of his death. That is because being stupid is the greatest superpower in the world. So, um, all right. So that's the Craig Spawn's turn. It's going to pass to Lorius. Uh, Lorius sees that his team is all buffed up. No, Julian does not have a buff. So Lorius will give you his last inspiration point, Julian. Oh, my God. All right. And then he will pass to Sibo. Um, I think I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take my turn to make some more fire javelins. Okay, yeah, give me that slate of hand check. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, um, give me a d3. All right, you create two more uh, fire javelins. Sibo, pass me a ja fire javelin. <laughs> I will. I will pass the fire javelin to. to Just roll it towards me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, don't don't roll any checks. Don't roll any checks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. The dice are too cursed tonight. <laughs> uh, so you would pass the storm herald to finish up the round. Yes. All right, storm herald. He he only wants one thing in life, but that is to destroy Maya. Uh, so he's gonna try to stab Maya again. <laughs> the reps are just watching, like, yeah, this is fair play. Oh, no. Oh. A 21? Uh, yeah, 21 does hit. All right, so you take 9 piercing and 11 lightning damage. Oh, my goodness. So, with it being Steve's turn, does the fire on the storm... Oh, yeah, give, us, give me more? a d10, and then that'll burn out, because it's two rounds uh, of burning. Yeah. 
Oh, oh nice. nice. So their ship is that one ram will destroy oh. the elusive fall. I feel like we, yep. yeah, okay. a single ram, and then you get the cool um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey cutscene where like mm -hmm. the ship fucking explodes as you sail through it. Ah, so satisfying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we will have to find out if that happens next week oh. because we're we're actually at time. And All right. Yeah, some of us uh, have to get up uh, early for work. Who yeah. yeah. gets the pass? Oh, um, Maya took guy. damage. Yeah, Maya would probably want to steal since she took damage. Oh, yeah. yeah. All you right. Steal. Into them this turn. Ramming speed. Ah, <sighs> all right. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So oh, if, bananas. if one team's boat gets taken out, they are The boats are all out. that matters. Yeah, once yeah. the boats are done, they, they're they done. They got to okay. leave the they gotta leave the arena. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm. Mm. Okay. Take you guys back to the main Coliseum, I guess. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, Giorgos. Jeez <laughs> Louise. I think he got he got like three or four crit fails, and then Fortunus over here got like four nat 20. Six, hey, Gorgos, Gorgos did get one nat 20 when it counted. He when did count. when he bit oh, the man. He fucked their boat up. one nat one also. Yeah. <laughs> There was a the super swingy dice tonight. Super swingy. Even more than normal for this game. But this game has a lot of swingy dice. Yeah, and then this guy's got magic resistance, but it got affected by, like, multiple savers. Oh, yeah. Out. Like, multiple. Like, oh, my God, what? He's got, now, like, a... the Titanborn stats have been lowered because of how Giffy Glyph works. But as written in the adventure, this dude had a 30 intelli or intelligence score. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, but it is not 30 in... 30 uh, intelligence? Come on, like, what? Yep. His sister, Yala, has a 30, had a 30 strength score. Mm hmm mm hmm Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, whew. So, the other group in that event, they went up against Aresia and, um, the Amazons. Oh, damn. Yeah. It, it got real crazy. It got real crazy. Um... But yeah, you guys have you guys are up against a pretty tough tough matchup. Um, if not for the endless critical fails of Georgos at the very beginning, <laughs> and then the the terrible saving throws of the Stormlords. Uh, oof! Oh my oof. god! Kai's on the other hand, he's doing good. Yeah, gee. Commander yeah, guys, is guys is just tried his best out there. Him and yeah. Fortune just tried their fucking best. <laughs> yeah. Uh. And I kind of feel like Andronicos is in a similar boat. Like your your teammates are trying, but there's just not. There's just not. Like like tell them this is way out of Telemachus's like. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. Telemachus has no business being here at all. Oh my god. So why is Telemachus on the? Show? Oh yeah. yeah. This is oh, Elise man. right now, just watching. <laughs> yeah, Elise. <laughs> <laughs> all right so, so what we'll do is i'll we'll end, we'll end the stream and then you guys can fill julia don't know what happened so okay uh extra life is in 33 days uh, th <laughs> so it's almost november of the year 2021 let that sink in um 33 days from now 25 hour marathon um your very own andronicos will be playing D, D for 25 hours along with some other peeps to try to yeah go on the monk yeah, trying to raise some money for uh, Extra Life Charity. Uh, we've raised seventeen thousand dollars over the last couple of years, so we're definitely trying to hit that twenty k mark. But uh, hopefully, go way past that. We have a huge list of sponsors this year that are offering up incentives to anybody who donates for the campaign. So if you donate X amount of dollars, you'll get Y amount of prizes. Um, every dollar that you donate is essentially a raffle ticket that gets entered into our donor raffle. We got stuff like a legendary um, d d Beyond bundle. It's literally everything on d d Beyond. Um, we got copies of Foundry. We got copies of Wildermyth. Uh, we've got map packs from like Sapiku and Tom Cardos and Heroic Maps. I mean, there's this a lot of good, a lot of good stuff this year. Um, also, all your donations, you get to decide if they buff the monsters or the players. Um, and you could actually buff specific players if you have like a favorite in mind. You can even um, donate to make life miserable for one particular player. 
if you wanted to. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. What? There will be a couple of donation tiers that will allow you to put special mo- uh, homebrew monsters into the game. Last year, uh, they had to fight a mm. Trigger, which was three tigers stacked on top of each other. Also, um, Master Chief. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Also, the Master Chief from Halo showed up at one point. Uh, there was the Tyrannosaurus Rex with an elephant trunk and Jane laser beams. Glass. Yeah, yeah. So it gets pretty wild. It gets pretty wild up in there. So definitely check that out. Tuesday, uh, Red will be running an Eberron Western game uh, to raise money for Extra Life. So uh, I will try to remember to host that. And I think he still needs someone to stream it. So someone on the server will probably step up and stream the game. If not, I will try to stream the game. Uh, we'll see what can happen. Um, Friday, Monster Dom, Hunter. Yeah, Dom raised somebody for Extra Life, running his Monster Hunter game on Friday. There's two more in that series. It was very, very fun and very well run. Giphy Glyph plus 5e Monster Hunter is just a dream come true. Just uh, peanut, oh, butter, peanut butter and chocolate. It's just peanut butter and chocolate. It's, uh, okay. it's amazing. Um... We're, oh yeah, and we played our game tonight on Foundry VTT, hosted by the Forge VTT, which is why we got to do all the cool, awesome stuff. Where you're like, why can't we do this in Roll Twenty? That's that's why. Um, all right, cool. Then yeah. uh, we will pick this up uh, next week and yeah. finish up this battle. And then you have Kyra Kart Racing. Uh, F chat for respect for the following. So. All right. All right. And now we could end the stream, but then you can tell Julian what happened. All right. See you later. See everybody.